What's going on, guys? This episode is brought to you by Merrick Health. And if you go to MerrickHealth.com forward slash RBP, it'll take you to my page at Merrick Health and help you optimize hormones and make sure your blood markers are in check so that your body is constantly recovering and getting better throughout your bodybuilding career. Without your hormones being optimized and with your without your health being in check, you are not going to be able to progress at the rate you want to progress. So I'm going to take you guys to the website so you can see what I'm talking about. This is MerrickHealth.com forward slash rbp this is my page if you use code rbp you're going to get some savings at on either one of these panels now the 120 dollars panel is just the lab work they're going to send it to you you're gonna to have to decipher it yourself or have somebody you know decipher it the better option in my opinion even though it's more expensive is this lab panel here because it's not just a checkup you get a 25 minute lab review call with one of their professionals guys I cannot tell you how important it is to have one of their professionals go through your blood work with you. Having a professional lab analyst look at your blood work is more important than just having a family doctor look at it who doesn't really know what they're looking at or what the different blood markers they've had checked off, what they're supposed to be, and how they relate to what we're trying to do in bodybuilding. Guys, please go to AmericHealth.com forward slash RBP. Use my code RBP get everything checked out and make sure that everything is running at an optimal level so you can keep growing and getting better in your bodybuilding careers. Yeah, I think I have IBS. I'm not surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's through my. Uh, you think it's I, my... I have IBS for sure. I've never been to a doctor. But I can tell you. Why do you? But when I gotta take a shit, I gotta take a shit, <laughs> and like it's fucking bad. Yeah, but maybe it's just uh, because of the stuff you eat. Probably colitis. Maybe it's just the, the food you eat. No. I think it is. It's like, it's an emergency. What the fuck is going on with all these backgrounds tonight? I'm in a hotel, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on the road again. <laughs> You're fucking hammered. <laughs> How's it going? What's Good. going on, Paul? Not much, Fred. How's it going? Good. Uh, we we're just discussing Mike's IBS. Um, <laughs> Mike. Bowel syndrome? Yeah. <laughs> thanks Thanks for spelling it out. For those who didn't know, Paul, this yeah. Yeah, just clarifying. <laughs> um yeah mike was telling he has ibs so i'm just we're trying to you figure said out. you had ibs i said i <laughs> have ibs too stop being I'm trying to make you feel better man <laughs> oh you're just uh you're just going along with me <laughs> yeah it's brutal man yeah but i think it's the uh i think it's the the, the menu like the food we're eating because ian doesn't have ibs like farts like a fucking champion though you know, part. <laughs> you guys have just loud fucking farts. <laughs> They're impressive. <laughs> Ian, do you have IBS? I don't know. No. I think Maybe. all bodybuilders have like borderline IBS. Yeah, I was gonna say, I'd like, do I have like the like acute bouts of diarrhea here and there and some flatulence? <laughs> yes. <laughs> A little blood. <laughs> But like, who, but like, who doesn't? You know, yeah. <laughs> if you don't have a blood in your if you don't have blood in your stool, you're not trying. You know, <laughs> you're a pussy if you don't. <laughs> I forgot my light. I forgot my lighter. Oh fuck! I gotta go get it. I gotta go get my lighter. Just give um, that a I'll turn that light up behind me, Fuad. I think it's too bright. Hang on. No, this just looks like the sun. New, this is a new venue here. Oh, he's yeah. at a hotel. He's in Pittsburgh, eh? Paul's in Pittsburgh. He's yeah. gonna judge the North Americans tomorrow. Yeah. Got so, a lot yeah. of pillows there. Yeah, Paul, how come you have like eight pillows on your bed? Yeah. <laughs> I brought my pillow. I brought my orthopedic pillow from home. That's oh, the yeah. flat one you see there. Can you show it? <laughs> Can you show it? Because I know yeah. you're always talking about how great it is. Yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah. One second. <laughs> I want to. I want to show mine now. Mine is better than that one. <laughs> Paid four hundred bucks for this pillow for it. You paid four. <laughs> <laughs> I paid yeah, it goes everywhere with me. <laughs> you paid four hundred bucks. Like, is it like is it like like a bamboo kind of springy one? You know. Yeah, can it's we, it's uh, can we, can we see it? Can you put it like closer to the camera? Well, it's, it's like is it memory <laughs> foam feeling? Yeah. Oh, okay. Did you put uh, that white thing just closer to the camera? We can't tell what the fuck it is. <laughs> it hugs your head. I love it. 
<laughs> is it, can you take it out of the um? Yep. Out of out of the sham. Yep. Sham. You mean cover? <laughs> it's called a sham. Whatever, nerd. <laughs> never heard sham before. It's a pillow right. sham. That's what it's called. I never heard that before. <laughs> okay, here it is. I'm not sure on that one either. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> you got okay. some... Wait a minute. Oh, a wait. sham? It's called... <laughs> It, it just glows. I think you made that. Up. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that. Well, Google that. It is a. <laughs> it is a thing for sure. But like, who the fuck says that? You know, <laughs> pillowcase. Yeah, but it's for like decorative pillows. Yeah, it's it like, is. Uh, for decorative pillows. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, this isn't not. a sham, then. No, it's not. This is a pillow sham right here. There. Where is? What is a pillowcase versus a pillow? A pillow sham. Go back. Yeah. Where? People also asked. What is a pillow sham? No, second no, one. No, no second one. one. A yeah, decorative pillow, pillow cover. Okay, decorative. so what's the fucking mine's, difference? Mine's not decorative. Well, you're wrong. Is the difference? The pillowcases used to keep the pillow clean <laughs> while you sleep, but maybe right to definitely wrong. <laughs> well, I think I'm still right because I use my pillow sham as a pillowcase. You use your decorative pillows as pillows? Yes. That's I like gross. to. I like to. I like to sleep on a nice pillow. Fancy. That's a, that's what do you mean? But like, why don't you just have a nice it pillow? Look, sleeping pillow. Because I want my pillow to look fancy when I'm sleeping on it. Oh if anyone walks in on him, he wants to look good. You're so fucking Arab, man. Why are you so Arab? <laughs> <laughs> Only the finest. The cotton. finest. <laughs> Egyptian <laughs> cotton. <laughs> Keep the tassels. Mike's Arab. Mike, Mike's Arab is perfect. <laughs> yeah, that was, uh, if you could have fooled me. <laughs> Holy fuck! <laughs> so four hundred bucks for the pillow. Fuck, Mike. How yeah, much you pay for yours? It. Mine's like it goes like there's a, like a higher ledge and then it dips through your head and then there's a ledge and yeah, like she a neck knows. and like a serb like for the bottom of your spine it comes down a little bit. Yeah, I think I paid like one fifty, two hundred. Yeah, Paul, Paul's like that. Well, I've had that Why thing does... for like I, I've gone through like five of them. Really, the last like, ten years. Paul's too nice, but I saw the look on his face like that's crap. It's crap. <laughs> 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 it's 400, 400 or anything left. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. <laughs> Nothing's too good for my head. <laughs> um, okay. But Mike, do you sleep on your back? Uh, I sleep more on my, I sleep on my back more often now that I have my CPAP. Oh yeah. With the CPAP, I, up... I can sleep on my back. Yeah. 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 No. Cause I was just thinking like the way you said your pillow, you described your pillow, you'd have to sleep on your back for it to be comfortable. No, your side too. Yeah, no. If you go on your side, it like if you're a bigger yeah. guy, we have a bigger distance oh, here. Yeah, it's like yeah, a yeah. huge pad, yeah. so it keeps your head straight. Yeah, instead of either being all cranked like that. Yeah. Maybe, I, maybe I'm going to invest in a new pillow. It's worth it. A I good fold, pillow makes a big difference, man. I fold my pillows. I like it like it to be yeah. hard. I, yeah, I, if I'm at like a hotel or somewhere with crappy pillows, I do that. But if you get good pillows, you won't need to do that. Yeah. All right, I'm going to invest in a new pillow, and I'll get worth the money. I'll get some pillowcases while I'm at it, so I don't sleep on it. <laughs> Pillow shams. Some shams. Fine Persian satin. <laughs> no shit is too good for my fucking skin. I need to Your sleep on a nice, head. my bald head and my face. <laughs> anyway, what's going on, Paulie? How's Pittsburgh? How's the drive? Uh, the drive took me a long time to get here. It took me like with stops about six hours. Really? Yeah. Well, I, I, I thought you said it was, I thought you said it was five or you said to stop and piss every like hour, every hour. You're the worst yeah. for that. I know, I know. Yeah, you know? stop and do something. It, no, I didn't. You know what? My fucking my hallway here though reeks like weed. So I think they're. Uh, well, you must hate that. I'll mix that right in here <laughs> shortly. <laughs> I'll add to that stench. Short, Is that, are, you the, are you at the host hotel where like the competitors are? Yeah. Is yeah, it Sheraton? Is it legal in Pennsylvania to smoke weed? Medicinal, I believe. I don't think it's recreational oh, here. Good thing that's what you got. Well, I stopped at House of Dank. <laughs> um do you know any of the competitors like do you know how many competitors there are or do you know who's like they're talking about to win like have you heard anything i've seen um i i I've seen a couple of uh, super heavies that look pretty good um yeah, what's his name is it ken or something ken? oh kennedy uh, ken uh the kid from new jersey Oh, I'm not familiar with him. He just did a show like last weekend too. Yeah, I talked to him, man. He's a I, like I saw a... Sid Ray or some one of these guys post him or something. He looks yeah. mental. This guy, yeah, he's got a great physique. Oh my yeah. god, crazy! Yeah. He looks like he could be winning two twelve shows. Yeah. Really, he's doing this show. Yeah, 
No, I, I think he's like 225 or something like that, Ian. Yeah, well, I mean, whatever he is, I thought he was a shorter guy, but I mean, he looks like he's like a, a good pro level, you know? Yeah, this is... Shape uh, and like roundness of his muscles and shit. Kennedy. Oh, you show me this guy for it. Yeah, look at this. Yeah, look at this freaking guy. Yeah, he's, he's like, got a... He's like Samson, fucking 2.0. Yeah, what the fuck is this? Yeah. Yeah. I think like, I mean, if the condition's there, this is going to be hard to beat anywhere, man. What the fuck? He's so I see. Legs too. Who's the guy in the Who's the guy in the mirror in the top right? This here? guy right here. <laughs> <laughs> that guy in the show because he's going to win. <laughs> he nailed that double bice up there. <laughs> Why would like you he just got out of the you know, shower, guys? You know what I find crazy about this generation? If, How would you if even this, be in the room with that guy? Yeah, if this was me, <laughs> if this was me, like when I started, and that guy was in the room posing, I would not have my shirt off. No, I, no I wouldn't even. I wouldn't even be in there. I'd be in a depression, a deep state of depression. And I would hit the gym every day for the <laughs> no, next like, <laughs> couple <of> years. <laughs> I don't know. Like if the guy let me watch, I might sit there with my shirt on and like actually like just get inspiration. But like I would yeah. never be in there posing with this guy who looks like a fucking pro. I, I, just the respect thing. Yeah, I don't know. It's just I feel like it's so different now. The guy's just in there like hitting front doubles and shit. And I'm like, I, I just, I don't know. It was never like that for us. There's no shame anymore. Go to his, go to his tag photos though. One second. One second. Gonna... Well, I want to see something recent. This is like eight yeah. weeks. Ago. Uh, this got, the kid turned around. He's looking at him like, this guy's there. shit. That was, no, that, <laughs> this, this was the show he just won. Yeah. Okay. Looking, he, so he did, Um, he told me he is, there, working yeah, with, he yeah, he's working with Andrew Vu. He told me the first show he did, like, or one, the, the show he did last year, or whatever, he said his conditioning was way off. That's why he didn't do well. Yeah. And he said now, obviously, they brought it down. And so he won, but they were focused on the North Americans. So I think when you look at, like, when you look at yeah. uh, this photo, it's because they're trying to nail it for North Americans, not yeah. this. Yeah. And that's, this, a two, that's a two week outlook there, you know? Yeah. Yeah. But yeah. obviously, this was good enough for him to win. So go down. Is there any more from that show, Tag? I don't think so. These are from the posing room. Yeah. Um, his first name is Kennedy, right? Yeah, this was five weeks out. He's yeah, got a great physique, man. Yeah, right. I apologize to the guy too if I said two, 212 and he's like a 250 pound competitor because see him now, he could definitely be heavier than a 212. No, I, I think when I remember yeah. talking to him, he said he was like, um, I think he said he was 230 last year, but he wasn't like obviously in shape. So or he'll be like low two twenties. I think he's gonna be. He said he was on the border between a super heavy and and a, and a heavy. So I don't know what he was at that show that he just did where he won. Yeah, he looks um, good. It just says won the overall. It doesn't say what class. I don't know if he did supers or if he did just heavyweight. Yeah, maybe some small shows too. They might have just combine them anyways. You know. Yeah, if there's mm -hmm. not enough yeah. people. Yeah, yeah. Um. So he's there, eh, Paul? I haven't seen him, but uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to seeing him though. Yeah, he's got a really, really nice physique, man. If he can get in shape, I think he'd be fucking hard to beat. I agree. Yeah, there's another guy, too, that's pretty good. John Rivas. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce his last name. Rive or Rivas? He's got a good physique, too. He was here last year. I think he got third or fourth last year. Does anybody know where that Brandon Barrow guy is competing? Is he doing the North Americans? He was here last year. He got second or third. I have I, I don't know if he's hey, here this year, though. Go to his Instagram. I think he is doing it. Ian, you keep cutting out now. I'm when, cutting out? When other people are talking. Oh. You've lost your cutting people off abilities. Yeah. <laughs> well, my too. Imagine that. Uh, this is one second. Sorry, guys. This is Brandon Barrow. Um, <clears throat> let's see. Is this recent? Doesn't say. Five days ago, though. Yeah, mm. five days ago. Um, what's this? Depleted fast checking right now. Seven days. Okay, so yeah, okay, that's so five yeah, it must be. That's five days ago. So yeah, that makes sense. His yeah. physique, his physique reminds me a lot of Luke's. Yeah, I can yeah. see that. Yeah, yeah. got a good one. back. Yeah, yeah, good from the side. I think the conditioning needs to be maybe a little crisper, but I he's pretty close. Yeah, I feel like for seven yeah. days it needs to be harder yeah. than that. Yeah, what's, what's the, the, point, what's the point of the backdrop? What? <laughs> what's the point of the backdrop? <laughs> a lot of guys, a lot of guys are doing that. No, I it's noticed like, a lot. Especially when you get, a, it's like taking up like half the screen. You know, a lot of guys are doing this now. Fucking too big, man. You gotta get, you gotta get a bigger yeah. backdrop. <laughs> yeah, he's uh, he's good. I don't know. I just feel like I hope he comes down more a little bit more in the last week. Yeah, 
yeah, that's the only thing I remember seeing him from from last year's North Americas or whatever the show he did last nationals or whatever. Um, that his, his muscularity was great, but the conditioning still need to be a little a little tighter. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the only there was some there was one other amateur I was thinking of. Hmm. Is Brandon Madak in the show? I don't know. No, I don't think so. I saw no. him train today. He's not there. So. There was one other guy that we were talking about when me, you, and Ben were in the car on the way to Ohio. Paul, what the fuck was his name? Uh, uh, was it Justin something? I'm not I sure. I don't recall. I can't remember. Anyway, so were you at registration today or no? I stopped in there for a bit to say hi to everybody, but uh, I got here a little bit late, so registration already started a couple hours before I got here. So did you get to see the guys weighing in or no? Uh, just a couple. They, it's just an open registration, so they can come any oh, okay. anytime between like okay. 3 and I think okay. 10 p.m. Are you nervous about tomorrow? No. I only get nervous when I'm head judge. Not even, I don't get judges nervous when I head judge anymore, but the uh, I used to for the first few until I, until I had who's, enough experience where I felt comfortable. Who's head judging the show tomorrow? Gary? Oh, Sandy's here. So see, I, I'm, a, I'm taking it. Sandy's doing the females. Um, yeah. But I think Bill, Bill's here. So, and I haven't seen Tyler yet, unless Tyler's here. Tyler had judged it last year, but okay. um, him and Bill kind of shared it. I've seen Bill here, and Jack Sullivan's here too. I don't so think I'm assuming I know, one of those two. I don't think I know Bill, or maybe I know him to see him, but I don't no, think I know. Bill's, uh, he's been around for a while. Big guy. That's maybe. Bill Sibilia or whatever, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So what's it? What's the North Americans? How many pro cards do they give? Is it just the overall winner of bodybuilding, or is it the class give winners? Out, I want I to say two or three in the overall in bodybuilding, right? Each class gets a pro card. Oh, each class each, now. It is now. Yes. Okay. Including masters, so they give what I, I want to say. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I want to say there was 90 pro cards. No, no, what? I'm not. So, sorry, sorry, I'm not talking about like all the other classes. I'm talking about just bodybuilding. Just, just bodybuilding. So every class winner gets a pro card now. Yep. The know, North I, America's every class winner gets a pro card. That's weird. Right. It's like that at nationals too, isn't it? Uh, NPC nationals. I don't think USA yeah. does do. USA does now too. No, no, no. I was asking about NPC oh. national USA nationals. I, I believe NPC nationals gets every yeah. class too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The USA is just the overall, I believe. Um, so as far as I know, yeah, yeah. That's a lot of pro cards, man. Ninety. Yeah. No, I mean even just for the bodybuilding, you go lightweight, oh. middleweight, light heavyweight, heavyweight. Well, there's super, some that are plus masters. Weight. There's some that are like two in the class, aren't there? Like yeah, first... yeah, top two. Yeah. yeah, oftentimes that happens. Is well, it... they do a lot. Is um, like let's say a guy already got a pro card in um, masters bodybuilding, and then he's going to be an open bodybuilding, and he's going to win master open too. That's a lot of the times we'll just give the pro card to the second place guy since he already won his pro card in masters. In classic, I think <laughs> isn't classic. That's what they're doing now. It's like first and second. Uh, I I I don't know if we had one hundred percent. Um, okay. Okay. but. Yeah, I'll find out tomorrow, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Because I thought it was – I can't remember what other division it was. It was bikini or it was classic or it was men's physique. I can't remember what division it was, but they were doing like first and second get a pro card. That was probably the first couple of years of classic to try and get some numbers Just up for the pop, pro shows. Populate, populate the yeah. category, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Huh. Well, it's easy to get a – Not, I don't want to say easy, but it's easier. You get a lot more chances to get a pro card now. So Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, definitely. Um, <clears throat> okay. Uh, we had the Masters Olympia on the weekend. I just saw Hitatata in the hallway on my way here. Did you? Yeah. Did you, did you congratulate him? Uh, he was running, but I just gave him a quick, like, how you doing? You should have said congratulations on winning the first. I know, but he was running Masters. for the elevator. I got off the elevator and then I saw him running down the hallway trying to catch the elevator because I don't want to stop him. Well, when uh, he sees Paul, Paul Lozon, he needs to stop. That's what we're, yeah, that's what we're thinking. <laughs> yeah, well, Holy shit, man. But think, uh, he's from Japan. Maybe he doesn't know yet. <laughs> Good customs. Good it's customs. An obscure place you've never heard of. Yeah, some, some the weird, the weird capital. <laughs> uh, okay, so this is some shots from the Masters Olympia. I think we can get, I think Hidetada's got some photos in here. Well, there's a video from all posting there together. I thought I won 212, right? I know, but that was open. Yeah, you're too far now. Yeah, I know. Okay, so this is the open. I'll have to find Hidetata somewhere else. Sorry. Oh, Sorry, he's, he... below there. he's below there. Where? Go down. Keep going down. Keep going down. Keep going down. Right there in the middle. Oh, nope. yeah. oh that's him right there. Okay, yeah. there's Hede. I thought he looked really good for being retired for like 10 years. There also is some pictures yeah. of the long below. 
That's a good look, man, for somebody who's yeah. been retired for so long. Yeah, obviously, oh. there's not as much muscle there, but the overall like flow and the conditioning is really good. I mean, it's a, it's a pretty solid look. Yeah, how old is he now? Anyone know? I don't sure. know, but dude, he's got cross durations in his fucking quads. So like, it's yeah. no, his conditioning is excellent. Obviously, yeah. mm-hmm. I wonder if he found it easier to get shredded being older or harder. I would imagine harder. Just guessing. I don't but think I so. Imagine. I think it's easier, man. Why? Why do you? Why do you think that? I don't know. I feel like I would have an easier time getting shredded now if I actually like, you know, did everything I did when I was a pro, like when I was competing. Yeah. If I did all the drugs and everything, like I feel like it'd be a lot easier to get shredded. I think partially because maybe you're not worried about holding on to as much muscle. Like, I I don't know if that makes sense, but like, like Paul, you're pretty lean naturally. Like right now, you know what I mean? Like you don't, you don't eat that well and you're already shredded. Yeah. I eat pretty well for it. I eat pretty well about 90% of the time. I was waiting for that. <laughs> Dude, you don't eat that well. You, you eat a box of you eat a box of cookies a night. Like what are we talking about here? I get it. I get in the bad runs like that, but typically I uh I try not to 98% do that. of the time I'm <laughs> yeah. on point. I'm right all the time. <laughs> um so he they be not because I... I'm old though, Fuad. Not because I'm old. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Got really stuck a nerve with this one. <laughs> well, yeah. no, hey, it's like, that. It's like, okay. <laughs> all right, all right. Let's play with this a little, a little bit. So, I think it is because you're old. Oh, I got. I've always been lean. No, have you ever known me to be fat? You're retaining less water now than you used to when you were younger. I take, I take far less drugs, drugs. than I took when I was younger too. But I don't think that's just it. Well, that and the food, the training. Okay, probably everything. okay. Let me ask you this. Here, well, let's nail it down for for people that are young and don't know what we're talking about. When you're young and you eat a fucking pizza, mm-hmm. your muscles fill out, you retain a bunch of water, and you look yeah. awesome in the gym the next day. Yeah, I don't get that anymore. Okay. No? But, but listen, when you're older, when you're well, Paul's... So not to the same extent I did when I was 20 to 25. Right. Wait, till yeah. you're, wait till you're 40 or 50. Yeah. So yeah. When, when you're 40 or 50 and you eat a pizza, you don't retain any fucking... I don't retain any water in my face or nothing. I yeah. just get I just get a bloated stomach. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, a, and a sore stomach. Yeah. So it's yeah. like... So I'm just saying, like, overall, I feel like you, you're not retaining as much water. And I feel like when I do eat clean, I see the change in my physique right away. I found getting my body, but that's probably because it's a pretty easy change for you. Like, I eat well all the time. I find lose, losing body fat is harder for me now than it was five to six years ago. Is it really? Like, I can still really? get into shows. Like, I mean, you can see Toronto. I still can get peeled to the same level, but it's I certainly have to push it a lot harder than I used to. That's so crazy because I found like when I was in my it. like mid twenties, man. I remember preps I, I've done with Matt and even with Patrick, where like I was eating a fucking thousand grams of carbs a day and doing like twenty minutes of cardio, just trying to not have my weight drop, and I'd be fucking getting so lean so fast. Like I, I haven't had that happen to me in a long time now. Like maybe yeah, but... if I've been dieting for a while, but like really close to a show but no my, my metabolism's not the same like that as it used to be see i felt like in my 30s because i added so much more muscle than i had in my 20s that i would get lean relatively easily yeah like when i was like 30 at 35 i was the biggest i think ever and i was i would get shredded like i could be ready for a show in six to eight weeks yeah. No, I, I couldn't do that. I mean, I could, but like, I would definitely, I would compromise a lot of my look. No, sure. I'm, not, I'm not saying that's the way to do it. I'm yeah. just saying like, yeah, I didn't find it hard to lose weight. I don't know. You well, th- so- wait, 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 wait. I'm not saying it's hard to lose weight. It's still not like in the scale of, of things. It, it's still quite simple, like yeah. or quite easy, but it's, it is a noticeable difference in the amount of food I need to eat and cardio I need to do to get my body fat to the same place where it was like, look, okay. I, I you know, I'm not, I know there's a lot of people that have have to go way lower than I go, Yeah, yeah. Um, but relative, you know, like where before I could eat four or five, 600 grams of carbs all the way into a show and still, you know, have to do multiple high days a week. Like, you know, I don't, I don't have that anymore. Yeah. Sure. See, I never had that when I was younger. So I, I never experienced that like super easy transition. I always had to like cut my calories to like get the weight off. For me, a lot of preps, it would be almost like trying to slow the train down the entire prep, you know, mm. it's like, once I started that, like the ball would get rolling. It's like, we'd almost have to like pump the brakes, like really control where like for Toronto prep, like I was pushing fucking, you know, 85, 90 minutes of cardio eating, you know, down to a hundred grams of carbs, like stuff that I would never have done the past to get in shape, you know? Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Yeah. You're, we're very different that way. Yeah. Cause I, cause I never had a, I guess I shouldn't say easy because easy is a very relative term depending on the person. I always had to cut calories and I always had to do a ton of cardio. Yeah. But I always knew if I did both those things, the fat would come off. No problem. Like, you know how we know people that like 
they can do all the cardio and they can cut well, calories. Yeah, see, I'm getting a response from that. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah, getting, yeah. It's not like I'm doing all this and not getting a response. I'm doing yeah. it and still getting lean, but the, the, the amounts is still more. Like like uh, Brandon Beckrich comes to mind. Yes. Yeah. Brandon uh -huh. Beckrich has told me like he's been as low as like 800 calories a day and like yeah. two hours of fucking cardio and he just sometimes can't just can't get yeah. body fat off yeah some guys have a hard time getting lean yeah so i never had a tough time getting lean but i had to do the work and cut the calories yeah but i noticed as i got bigger i could do less cardio and i was able to get in a little bit more calories yeah more muscle which makes sense i think right the more muscle the you only, have the only yeah. thing i think that could be a tangible difference is my life is a lot more sedentary than it was when i was younger you know, yeah. Yeah, when yeah, I was I remember, younger, right. like I would still, you know, work personal training jobs or stuff like that. Like, and I was obviously moving around a lot more versus now, like, I don't like other than doing cardio, I don't like move around a ton of my day. I'm not like yeah. going out for fucking, you know, going to the mall or like going to a job. Like, you know, there's stuff like that. That's obviously going to make a, a tangible difference. I'm sure if I went and walked around for, you know, four hours a day, like I would at a shift at work or something, six hours, yeah. I'd probably need to eat a lot more food, yeah. but um, so that could be part of the equation, I guess. So. Mike, what did you, when you were competing, did you find it easy or hard to get shredded? Were you, what kind of, what kind of competitor were you? I don't think I was ever shredded. <laughs> <laughs> well, you look back and I'm like, I don't think I was. Ever. Okay. Let me rephrase. <laughs> let me rephrase. Did you have a tough time or an easier time getting fat off? I don't know. Once I, once I just decided that's what I was going to do, my body would come down pretty easily. Yeah. So like. I would just, I would never have to do more than like an hour of cardio a day, especially near the end. Do you think it would so probably it's, break it up though? Do you think it was easier or harder, or harder as you got older? Well, as I get older, it's harder. It's hard as fuck for me to even try to be lean. Yeah. Is, but is that because of your lifestyle or just because hormones? Yeah, probably. Are... But I mean, I have no desire to, I have no desire to eat that way again. I just rather, rather stay more active and, move more and just eat kind of what I want to eat. Mm -hmm. There's no goal for me, right? Sounds mm -hmm. like a fucking great time to me. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's amazing. I need to yeah. find I need to find the middle ground though because I'm too far over here. I need to find <laughs> where Mike is a little bit. Because Mike, yeah, all the Mike's... things with bodybuilding that I, I I don't want to take with me, it's that you know. Like, look, I still would like to train and yeah. do cardio and you know supplement regimes. I think are good for you know overall long term health and stuff. Um, but the fucking eating like this, I'm like, I'm so like, that's one thing I'd be like over it. Fuck it. Yeah. 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 Was, I always tell you, man, there's nothing better than fucking traveling and not having to pack a meal. Oh my God. Like, yeah. like I'll, I'll find something on the road. We're like, it. like, you know, even when we were talking about yeah. this, this driving, you know, yeah. like to me, it's like, I can't get up and yeah. for six hours and, and drive the car. But you know, if you eat your first meal with a bunch of carbs in, it's impossible to drive long distances, you know? Yeah. As a bodybuilder, it's like the yeah. hardest thing ever to stay awake driving if you've been eating big meals, you know? Yeah. So for like reference, for me, I would love to just like, oh, we got a trip today. Yeah. We want to drive. All right. I just won't eat until we get there, you know? Yeah. Like, yeah. fuck, that'd be sick, you know? Yeah. For reference, yeah. For, people, for people listening, Ian's talking about when we met at the cottage this weekend, me and Paul had a six, and six hour drive to get from where we were to there. And uh, Ian and Mike had like a two hour, two and a half. Yeah, hour roughly. Drive. Two and a half, three. So I didn't eat from when I got up to when I got there because I can't. I'll fucking pass out. Yeah, like I will get too. I get too. <laughs> I do. If I have like a massive bowl of oatmeal, and, and like some eggs, I'll be driving and I'll be like, I'm fucking. I'll just start. Where I had to eat, like, where I'd eat two meals in that time. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. So. Okay. So anyway, Paul. Yeah. So you don't. So you think it's. You you think you're just as lean now as you were when you were younger? Because that's kind of where we, where we started this whole thing. I think I was a little bit leaner when I was younger, but you had a lot more muscle. Yeah. Now you're just kind of yeah. well. You kind of like not a lot more. Yeah. I was probably about, I probably yeah, about another about ten to fifteen more pounds of muscle. <laughs> I find I find as I'm getting like even the age I am now, like I weighed myself at the at the gym up over by the cottage, and I said it's three fourteen. I I literally do an hour. An hour, an hour and a half of cardio a day, like between like an hour at the gym, yeah, and then I will walk for a half hour, forty minutes at night, yeah, yeah. and my body weight just stays there, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And I'm not on like some, I'm not on some like massive amount of drugs, and I don't eat regularly. Yeah, but we're hyper responders. It's just the way they, yeah, just the right. way it is. You still lift weights, our, right? Our, our yeah. bodies just want to be huge. But even yeah. like now, I'm not lifting the way I, I even would lift because of my shoulder, right? So I have to like do these abbreviated workouts. That's like my body's still sitting at this weight. I'm like, I should be dropping weight like crazy. Then I'm, I'm moving and yeah. fucking. But I think my it's body's the... just like, nah, we're chilling here. 300 is fine. 
I think it's the food, Mike. Because I'm like, <laughs> We're I'm good still, here. I'm not eating like I used to eat when I was bodybuilding, but I still eat a lot of calories. And I, I'm just sitting at 270. Mm-hmm. There seems to be like a point where your body doesn't want to get any lower than that, eh? I think especially if you're still weight training. Like, I think yeah. that was the thing you know, with Melissa wanting to lose weight, like, or lose muscle specifically, yeah. um, was like, if she even trained a tiny bit, like, minimal intensity, two, three days a week, there just got to a point where no matter how much cardio she did or how little food she ate, she, she couldn't get below a certain weight. And then yeah, when she yeah. just cut weight training, like her, she got way smaller and way leaner, way faster. You know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Den- Dennis said the same thing. I've I've said yeah. this before yeah. on the podcast. Dennis, Dennis James said the same thing. He said for him to to shrink, he actually had to just stop weight training. Yeah. Together. Yeah. yeah. She hasn't really lifted weights much in the last six months at all. I'm not. Right? I'm not prepared to do that, man. Even if it, <laughs> well, so that exactly even wrong. if even if somebody said to me, "Look, you're going to shorten your life by five years or whatever," I'd be like, "I don't know. I like training, man. It makes me feel good. Yep. Yeah. Like it." If I'm having a really shit day and I go work out, I all of a sudden feel better. Oh, you feel so sure. I, I can't, I can't just stop. Not because yeah. I'm like hardcore or anything. I just, it makes me happy. Well, you've been doing it for so long too. Yeah. yeah. You know, it's part of your life. I just can't uh, wait to box again because if I boxed, I lose weight like crazy. Yeah. Do you weight train oh, while, you're right. bike, while you're boxing still, Mike? Yeah, but I cut it down to like three days instead of like every day. Maybe okay. that's what we, maybe that's what we got to do, Paul. Cause me and Paul were talking about doing like jujitsu or something or maybe boxing mm-hmm. or. Anything yeah. to just kind of change pace a little bit. <clears throat> yeah, add some cardio and some different stuff to it. Yeah, maybe we should. Um, yeah, maybe that's something to do. I don't know if I want to cut my weight training down, though. We could like, cut it to know, like four days a week and then yeah. you know, do something else two days a week. Yeah, we could just do four days. We can do like a bro split. Like We could do like, yeah. Four days a week and then that's it. I'm just going to start. Yeah. I'm just going to get real fast, you know? <laughs> when you're done bodybuilding. <laughs> <laughs> Olympic you know trials. You know what? I'm gonna, as light as I can get, so I can be as fast as possible. I'm gonna start. <laughs> I'm gonna start running now, so I have a head start. That way, when you retire, I can beat you in a race. Six months, I'll crush you. You have five years. I'll just race you as soon as you retire. I'll race you as soon as you retire. That way, that way I can beat you, and then I'll retire before you get fast again. You won't slowest race ever. Kind of like body, race ever. Kind of like bodybuilding. Before you got good, I left. I was like, I'm out I'd here. be willing to bet that even if you train for six months to a year, I could still beat you how fast I am right now. Right now? Yeah. We should bet something on this. I could beat you. I just won't. I just can't try like that because I'll probably fucking hurt something, you know? Yeah. But I'd be willing to bet. When was the last time you ran full tilt? Like, all out? When we were on shrooms two weeks ago. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Mine that was full tilt. I'll admit that. <laughs> was it full? <laughs> no. no. Um, no, I ran an actual, like in an actual track meet with spikes and everything on, on like a real track in 20, 2016 or 17. Really? So I was like 270 and Chris ran it with me. And then my buddy Spencer, who was like one of my training partners when I used to run track. So like the, mm-hmm. there's a track club in Ottawa that during the summer has like exhibition meets where like anyone can go enter it and you just it's entered by seed time. So if I put my hundred meter time at 20 fucking seconds, I'm going to be running with children and nine year olds, you know? Yeah, I would do that. So, uh, <laughs> so that, that's, that's what we did. We literally did that and we ran it. So me, Chris and my buddy Spencer went and ran then. Yeah. I think I have a video somewhere, somewhere on my Facebook. I got to show you guys this because we were talking about it. I saw this the other day. These guys uh, wanted to decide their 40 yard, sorry, decide their fantasy draft order. Yeah. So they ran a 40 yard dash each. <laughs> to to decide to decide the order of who goes first. That's awesome. And uh, you have no idea how slow people really are. Like, I, I think if I ran this, I would probably be slower than all these guys. Have you ever watched the commentators at the draft run the fucking forty? No, like the no. NFL draft. They're like no. literally like like running in cement, <laughs> and they and they put the fastest guy beside them, like shadowed, and they just leave really them. and they're still like they're, like they're running in like in cement, like the cement shoes on. Check this out. Check check this out. Look at this guy. Oh, God. 6.83. 6.83. <laughs> this guy looks like he's moving, though. This guy looks like he's moving. Check it out. 5.96. Okay. Wow. Look Still at this guy. Slow. This guy's going. This guy's so slow. 6.91. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Look at this little kid's fucking beating him. A big guy might be faster than that last Oh, guy. he is, yeah. 
No, he slowed down at the end there. Seven five oh, eight. Never mind. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's like 10 seconds for a four. This guy's running in fucking slow motion. Six three six. Like eight seconds. Really? Oh my god. This guy looks like he's going really fast, but he's not going anywhere. Oh, six two five. Not bad. Oh, this guy's the best. Nobody sure. broke. Look at this. Look at this guy. Oh god. That Those would, little choppy steps. That would be me if I ran seven eight. <laughs> eight seconds. <laughs> yeah. This guy running in jeans. Six one eight. I gotta remember where that. It's so funny watching like regular people do like track Athletic events. Stuff. Yeah, it's fucking. The guy, be... Rich, Rich Eisen's the guy who hosts the NFL Draft, and he literally runs it. It's like the slowest thing you've ever. I think seen. I've seen that, Mike. <laughs> One yeah. second. It's so slow. He Does runs it, it like in a the... suit too. He runs it in his like he takes his blazer off, but he runs in a fucking <laughs> suit. Really? Uh, Does he do the standing jump too to see how, how, how much your vertical is? No, they just do the. I think they just do the race. Yeah, Rich okay. Eisen runs the 40. Wait. <laughs> Look at his form. <laughs> <laughs> ah, That's awesome. I got to get fucking, I got to get premium. YouTube premium. All right. Yeah. Look, I wish I could find this video. Your phone. It's probably right by. He's probably doing his second window experience right now. Uh, Do they show his time? Yeah, they show it when he's done. It's uh, it's always a blast here at the combine, but I'll be honest. Go oh, back to your run in twenty twenty, Ricky. Let's get this party. I think they tie, they match them up with other guys who run. All right, here they we shadow go. them. They shadow all the guys that ran before them. Why is it so like? Oh. <laughs> Look at him go! <laughs> <laughs> Look at this guy. He starts after him like two seconds, and they fucking beat him. <laughs> Sorry, and then he okay, get the knees up, pump the arms. Yeah, <laughs> pumping hard. <laughs> He's keeping his head down. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking hilarious. Uh, okay. So, any, I don't know how we got onto this. Okay, so back to the Masters. Um, where were we? Hitatata, congratulations on being the first winner. I don't know the guys who took second and third. Uh, they're from overseas, so I apologize if we're not talking about you too much. They've got a Masters Pro Show here too on the weekend. What do you mean? Oh, at the Pittsburgh, at the North Americans? Yeah. Look at fucking Samson. Look at these legs. Is this real? What the fuck? Ten weeks out. Um. Okay. On to the victor. I got to tell you guys. So for people listening, we were at the cottage when we were, when this show was on and we were kind of checking our phones for a minute. We took a break from whatever we were doing to see what was going on. We thought Phil looked great and Phil was going to win. And then the more I we saw, um, sorry, what's his name? Come on, Kamal. The more we saw Kamal, and then I saw this one specific video of him posing. I was like, he looked. Remember, Paul? I showed you that video. He looked so shredded. Yep. I was like, I don't think I've ever seen anybody this conditioned. Phil put something up that he had some stomach issues, and he couldn't and hold his ab, his stomach in. I believe it. I've had that happen. Sometimes you eat the wrong thing when you're carb loading. Yeah, it was food get, poisoning or something. I forget what it get, was. But you get bloated. Yeah, he said he couldn't contract his abs. He couldn't keep his lower his lower abdominals in, and that's what he was uh, criticized the most on. You know, there was one. There was one Arnold I did. I think it was 2017 at the night show. I tried to carb load with potatoes, and I want to put a little bit of fat in them because usually when I eat potatoes, the carbs go like they spike real hard, and yeah. then they they drop off, and I and I flatten out. So I want to put a little bit of a fat with them to get the carb to last a little longer. So I mixed it with coconut oil and my God, dude, I was so fucking bloated. You really? So, yeah. So I don't know. Like I understand like what Phil's saying. Maybe he didn't have food poisoning, but maybe sometimes if you just try the wrong concoction or eat the wrong food, it can like, it can make, yeah. it, hard, it, can make it hard to pose, man, when you're really uncomfortable. For sure. Yeah. Especially to hold your abs, obviously too. Yeah. Yeah, I forget exactly what it was. He he did a post about it though. You know, it's funny the photos don't do these guys justice though, because I saw Max and I Phil know. in fo- in Max, video. Max came second, right? Yeah, yeah. Max looked a lot better in video than these photos are showing. And then was that Josh? Congratulations to Josh too, man. Legs still look massive. Yeah, like he's still got a ton of muscle in his legs. Upper body looked good too. Maybe arms are a little bit down in size, but congratulations to him after taking like I don't know what is it yeah. now four or five years off. What did he finish? It looks like fourth. I thought Fred Smalls was fourth, no? No, Fred was fourth, yeah. Uh, I, think I don't he, know. 
I think Josh was, yeah, he had a DNF. I don't think he came back for finals. Oh, no. Oh, really? Or or I'm assuming. I don't know what else gives you a DNF. Good job, uh, Ken, looking good in yep. shape. Everything's there. Good for him. Julian Julian going off in the comments, eh? Is that your boy? They all have one thing in common. They all have one thing in common. They're like, tired. <laughs> Julian, you're a fucking asshole. <laughs> That's fucking it. <laughs> They're not tired. They're old, dude. Give them a break. <laughs> <laughs> what you uh, get to be fifty? You'll be tired too. I know, right? Fucking Kamal's fifty-two years old. Fucking Julian. Fred's, Fred's, Fred's like if sixty. That, if that if that peck wasn't torn, man, that would be a really good fucking. For well, sure, I was. Still is, but... Yeah, we were talking about Julian, but I was going to say this is a really nice physique. Yeah, he looked yeah. good. This is he won another master show earlier this year, didn't he? Yeah. I don't know how old Fred is, but he's still got like a young guy's fullness. He's like yeah. sixty-one. Like you know, like you know, we see like the older... yeah, no. he's in his sixties. No, no, he's not. I tell you, he is uh, a little bit right. Probably fifty five. I'm always a little bit right. <laughs> don't don't doubt don't me. Don't, okay, don't, well, don't listen, just... listen, listen. Just just to, for comparison, right? Like when you see Max, remember you could see Max what he used to look like when he was yeah. like five years younger, right? Everything's really full. Same thing with fucking Josh. No offense to these guys, but like obviously as you age, things catch up. I mean, Kamal still holding it down, but like I'm I'm amazed that at um fred like this still looks yeah. like young, young muscle like I know. You know. that's the full like, quads around like yeah look at this, his quads like obviously his midsection is showing some age but i mean other than that man it's still a really good looking like full young physique paul if, you, if if you're right and this is 60 years old this is insane what, what are you gonna give me if i'm right do you tear his pack and not fix it or you got it fixed and that's how it looks i it looks think like got it fixed but it doesn't look like it's fixed there does it well, I don't know. I don't know if fixing it means it'll come back because they fixed my tricep and my tricep looks like shit. Yeah. So that looks like know. a bad tear. If, uh, if it, okay. If it, he was 47 when this article was written in. Uh, it doesn't say when this is from. Just Google him. See if you get his birthday. I am Googling it, but it's. They all message him. Him. message him on Instagram right now. Fred, Sm huh? Fred Smalls. Oh, no, he's 60. See, uh -huh. I knew you're I knew you're wrong, Paul. Oh, sorry. I said sixty or sixty one. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry, 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 sorry. No way this off. Is, this is not the right person. This is a football player named Fred Smalls. That's not uh, right. see, Paul, oh. I knew you were wrong. Uh, that's... Uh. <laughs> nah, nah. Anyway, even if he's fifty, it's still fucking incredible. Like to have that kind of fullness uh on that in that age. Okay, is... Fred's not nearly as old as you think. I don't they can't be sixty Wait, and have I'm that kind 48. of sleep. 48. He's, he's no. 47, 48, yeah. Why, why do you say that? Paul, this, is a, this is an article. This is an article on getbig.com that was posted August 5th of this year. Um, yeah, the, after he won the Tampa Masters and he's 47 there. Why did I yeah, even get why, big why, though? Why, why did I even believe you? Hey, God, he goes, yeah, get big though. Fuck <laughs> <laughs> That's not reputable. I'm gonna find you some proof right now. <laughs> <It's> not reputable. <laughs> Paul, Paul, just take he's born, he's born August 7th or August 8th, 1975. Do the math, Paul. You're oh, okay. Math. So he is. So it's forty-eight. Jeez, I almost see how stupid you made me look. I was like, "Oh, this is incredible!" For I 62. swear to God, I saw somewhere that he was sixty or something. And no, because Phil, Phil's Phil's older than him, right? Uh, what's Phil? Fifty. Phil's like fifty, fifty-one, isn't he? Yeah, these guys are honestly genetic outliers. Like Phil and Kamal is old though. Kamal's the oldest of the three of them. Listen, Phil, Kamal, Fred, these guys are holding on to all their muscle, even at forty-eight, and still extremely impressive. Like I don't think I could, I could, I couldn't hold on to that by forty. You know? Oh, fuck no, man. I'm forty-four. I'm fucking all of my shit's gone compared yeah. to that. Um. Anyway, good for you guys, man. I said that was a good show, but I want to see if I can find this video of Kamal just so I could show people. Uh. How fucking shredded I thought he was. This is, is this the one here? I don't think this is it, but it's a video nonetheless. But you can just see everything fucking moving. Like he's just, he looks, he looks like he hasn't lost anything in the show. The only thing, I just think he needs to change the way he does his back lat spread. Yeah, I agree. A little with that. too straight. Because he's got a great back. You can tell by the back double, right? When he does a back double, see these insertions? Yeah. See, how, see how good yeah, it looks? That's a great back double. Yeah. Okay, now now watch. When he does a back lat spread, he pulls his elbows too far forward and he pushes his spine out. Yeah. yeah see that? So yeah. now... His upper, his upper back is like rounded too far forward where his shoulders yeah. 
So then all you see, so then all of this flattens out and you lose all of the detail. Yeah, he needs to pull his like upper back back just a little bit. He needs to pull his elbows so they're almost. I think it's his elbows. I think it's his shoulders because look at his shoulders. No, no. And his elbows. Well, it's. I it's think both... his shoulders are his elbows are following his shoulders. You know. No, no, I agree with you. It's everything. It's the shoulder to the elbow is too far forward, and then the spine is being pushed out. Rounded. Yeah. Yeah. yeah so... Guys do that because they think it makes them wider. I think, but you lose your taper. Well, that's what I'm saying. Think, like it, some it looks guys like think a box. It's just like how wide can I get? Yeah. Well, we'll think, how like, wide? For everyone just to think of it logically, like when is a piece of paper its widest? When it's flat, if you start curving, it's less right. flat. It's less wide, you know? Right, yeah. Look look at that. Look at the difference. Like, see when he does those those back shots, how much detail and muscle there is? And, and, all, he, and you can see when he does the back lat, when he full, first pulls it open, and then he sits yeah. into it and rounds it even more, you know? Yeah, yeah. I think pushing the spine out is, like, not helping him. But regardless, yeah. I mean, I'm not trying oh, to yeah. nitpick. I'm just, for anybody watching, but look at the fucking condition, like, everywhere when he, as he's posing. It's like... He still has a very young looking muscularity. Mm-hmm. You know? For sure. Like his He's mid- a young looking man. Look at his abs, like his fucking everything about his physique still has like a good crisp look to it. You know, you know I asked him when he did my podcast when we were talking and I asked him about his like how fresh his body looks. He kind of attributes a lot of it to um, not going to failure. His training. Really? Yeah. He does a lot of high volume stuff. He does sets of 15 for okay. everything. I remember when Nick was training with him, yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't go to failure on everything. But yeah. high volume, isn't he? Yeah, it's very high volume, but he doesn't go to failure. And I think he, he kind of attributes a lot of his longevity it's, to that. That's a trade-off because I think there is something to be said that maybe that's why he isn't quite as big. Mm. But then it's like there's also a longevity and a, and a roundness and a freshness to that look, you know? Yeah, yeah. I don't know, though. I don't – you know, there's studies that have been done. But there's now, guys like Jay who have got fucking – without you know, going to failure to yeah. yeah 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 i'm not saying about the train to failure i'm just trying to saying the overall volume versus like more yeah. load at times you know oh mm-hmm. i see what you're saying yeah yeah that could make sense yeah, yeah. um there's just one more video on a show of the comparison between the three it's see just... max max looks a lot better in video like he looks i know a lot, a lot thicker here i noticed that in some of the videos i saw he looks way better than he does look in at, pictures look at this is a good shot of Kamal's back. Rector's fucking right at everything. Yeah, yeah his glutes are in, hamstrings are in. Phil's back is thick as fuck, too. Yeah. Phil's another guy. Like, he's not slowing down at all, eh? No, he these turned... guys are all super impressive for fucking yeah. right? See the and... difference? Look, like, Phil's actually doing it, yeah. too, but Phil's got such a thick back, he gets away with it. I think it's just a, uh, yeah. We can call Julian out again here. Julian, you're wrong. <laughs> Lahar got this, especially when you zoom in on Max's back. Fucking idiot. <laughs> Julian. <laughs> oh, Max, Julian. What the fuck are you looking at? <laughs> he must have been in a mood that day or something. Yeah. Just live commenting every fucking post. Eh? Yeah. <laughs> but Phil looks crazy, but Phil looks crazy there. This Holy is, fuck, he's big, eh? This yeah. is the first video I saw, and I thought Phil had it. Because yeah. I was like, no, I think all of us, to be obviously serious and like just like Julian, I think when we first watched it, we thought Phil had it. Yeah. yeah. Look at mm-hmm. Max, look at Max though. The side and front shit is still not. He still has abs. such nice abs too. You know. Yeah. Sharp. I think that's one of the things that made the biggest difference between look Kamal, this. him, and then down to Phil being third. Even though Phil is the most muscular and his conditioning was still good, was just the midsection. To be honest, you know. I got to tell you, uh, bodybuilding aside, if I could look like anybody up here, it'd be Max. He's he still every day. Yeah, he's still got great arm, great arms, yeah. great chest, and a fucking tiny little waist with awesome abs. It's like, yeah. don't his quads look so much better there than they did in that one, in that one still photo you had? I think it was a front double bicep. That's shot. why I said the photos aren't doing these guys justice because yeah. the video look, look makes them look crazy. Yeah, seeing the body in motion is always different, though. You know. Yeah. But like here, you can see just the difference in the midsection. Like these guys are like Phil's has still got good abs, but his midsection has showing some age and a little lower distension. Where Max and Kamal are tight yeah. as fuck. You know. Yeah. Jeez. Yeah. Like, look at Max, man. That's crazy. That's like an Andrew abs, you know? Yeah. Yeah. He's got a crazy midsection. And he uh, always. Does. So, you think, Paul, you think out of those three guys, if you could look like anybody, you'd want to look like Kamal? From head to toe? No, just from the fucking dick. What do you mean? Yes. Yeah, well, because I like Kamal. Kamal's, Kamal's a young man. Neck to the nipple. Kamal's <laughs> a young man, a young looking man, too, in the face, the hair. So is Max. Black don't crack. Yeah. Max looks young, but he's bald, isn't he? Oh, you want the hair? That's what you're basing this all. 
You're basing this all on the hair. <laughs> I, want that, I want that youthful hair too. <laughs> I agree. And his, ni- and his hair is nice and dark. There's no gray in Taking it. Taking the hair. Yeah. Why yeah. are you so? Why are you so worried about your hair? It's gone. Do you not accept it yet? That you're that I'm off. Just. <laughs> I've accepted it. It's just uh, if I had a choice, I would, I would take it back. <laughs> And then I take a deep choice. breath of that. I've yeah. accepted it. I agree with Paul. I agree with Paul that Maul has the freshest looking physique, and then he looks visually the youngest. Yeah. Even though he is actually the oldest. Like, look, if I want to still be huge, I'm going to look like obviously Max has sure. fucking still big arms, and he get looked grainy all the time, and he's still got nice. I don't, don't want to be huge. young, and Phil is still fucking huge, but but uh, Kamal looks the, the best. You know, I like I like Max because I I'm I would love to have this tiny perfectly symmetrical waist yeah well you have a big gut and tiny arms so you want to look like max <laughs> <laughs> wow that was pretty it's kind of it's kind of fucking ruthless just kidding, just kidding. well you're bald you're balding that's why you want to look like fucking I'm, I'm balding not bald you know okay but i'm okay with my my i'm sexy with my baldness i'm, yeah, I'm just i'm just getting into my acceptance phase you know i gotta tell you it's it's much easier being bald. I I don't use shampoo. Oh, yeah. I just trim fucking trim the shit every day. But like, but like, look at me. Do you think I would? Wouldn't I look weird? You know? No, you've had a shaved head before. You look good with a shaved head. Shaved head, but not bald shaved. I've had it like like buzz cut shaved. You know? Nah. You if you can pull off like a trim, you can pull off a. a... You, you got to transition into it, Ian. You got to start cutting the hair shorter and shorter. What happened? No, that's just, that's just longer... no, 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 no. That's just what Paul thinks. This is what Paul. <laughs> Paul's been doing this for the last 15 years. He's like, every haircut gets a little bit shorter. And yeah, he just thinks, take that a bit. Take it no, down he, a thinks, bit. Take he, thinks, he thinks eventually when he goes bald, nobody will notice. You got to get your barber. You got to get your barber to fade it. And then you leave a little bit on top. And it kind of gives a false impression. Right. If, Paul, if Paul was to completely shave his head tomorrow, though, I probably wouldn't really notice. Yeah. It's it's, so that's what he, but that's what he's doing. He's tr- yeah. he's slowly like. Well, he is right. And that's I'm it. conditioning you. Hypnotizing you into not knowing. Yeah. 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 Then you all of a sudden you'd be like, hey, I don't know you're bald. Yeah, see, for me, I I feel like it's like ball for? <laughs> I don't want to I don't want to rock the the fucking thing. I just want to tip it over. Fucking just yeah. shave it all and get it done. Take my licks, and then everybody fucking gets over it. I That's wonder it. though, if I were to go to Turkey, do I got enough left that they could do something? Probably not. No, no. I think, how much they'll you take some off? They'll take some off your back. Yeah, yeah. I got they plenty will. of there. There's hot <laughs> hair to spare. They told. <laughs> listen, they told me they could take my beard hair. They can take beard. They can take. Right, if they took it off your back, I'll have hair like Fabio by the time I'm fucking done there. <laughs> You're like Beautiful. fucking combing the shit right back. <laughs> how, thick, how thick is the hair on the side of your head, Paul? If you were to let this grow, how thick is this? That will come in fine still. Like a hundred percent, or like seventy-five percent. Well, it's probably not as thick as it once was. It's yeah, probably a little bit because that's where they're taking it from. They're taking it from the sides and the back, and they obviously need there needs to be enough there that they don't take it off here, and then all of a sudden you look fucking bald on the sides. So. Know? So like they take the follicles off that part of your head and they whatever. Yeah, they pull they pull them out and put them on the top. Yeah. So you're gonna be bald. That spot they're they literally took it from. transplanting from one place to the other. But you're gonna be you're gonna be bald the spot they took it from. Well, they don't take it from one spot. They'll take like, oh. like you know they're taking thousands of follicles, like two thousand fall four thousand follicles. You know, so they're okay. taking like they're dispersing them throughout this whole region. You know. Okay, that way we don't got like one spot of your body where they took it all from. Well, yeah, right? obviously that would make sense. You know. Yeah. They're right, gonna gotcha. take it all from this circle right here. Just, just right, right here. here. Just take it from right here. <laughs> take it right there. I'll donate. I'll donate my back hair for you, Paul. <laughs> okay, <laughs> thanks, Mike. I appreciate that. You're a true friend. Like blonde back hair. Yes, blonde back hair. <laughs> I got Mike's back on my this head now. Be wispy, great. wispy hair on the top of your head. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, so what else is going on? What's going on, Paul? Anything new? Well, Before we get to questions. Uh, I've only, I was only home for a day, and then back out here now. So I'm gonna be here till Friday. Do your kids hate you yet? Because you're gone all the time. Yeah, they do. They do, <laughs> yeah. don't they? I hung out with them yesterday. <laughs> Got dark for a second. That was, that, yeah. was <laughs> that was worse than that was worse than me asking you about your saying. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> uh, okay, I I do have to say one thing though. Uh, the award for best bodybuilder ever has to be Ian, just strictly based on the fact that. You fucking go anywhere, even like while prepping. Like, so we go to the cottage. We're there for three days. Ian doesn't fucking miss a meal. Doesn't fucking have a cheat meal. Doesn't have any extra condiments. Doesn't fucking nothing. Nothing. Yeah, you're a soldier. Cardio workouts in. Yeah. Not you weren't a, even got, like got all the workouts in. Got all the cardio in. Fucking. You, were, you weren't even late for your meals. Like when it was no. time to eat, you just dropped everything and eat. 
Yep. I was just on my normal schedule. Like we, you know, I eat usually my last meal, like as late as we would be up and go to bed. If anything, some nights, the night we got to bed at midnight, I was fucking, that was early for me, you know? Yeah. Yeah. I, uh, I said to summer when we left, cause summer says, she was, I can't believe Ian came like while he's prepping. And I'm like, I know I'm like, I would have never fucking done that. I'm like, yeah, but like talk. I said to you, when we were all sitting there, I was like, honestly, and you were saying about Matt too, like, you know, what would Matt think of this kind of thing? And I was like, honestly, I think Matt would suggest anything that was more beneficial for my mental health at this point and like no, make, yeah enjoy my time you know like yeah. at this point in my career it's like i know that these small things are not going to affect me like I, and even what small things like i still ate all my meals i still got my workouts you know i think there's some bodybuilders that would think just being out of their element it's not quite the same i'm not going to dispute that because i know it's not the exact same um you know you're not sleeping in your same bed you're still you're probably moving around more than you move like there is obviously differences um, but I think at this point, just like doing things that like bring me enjoyment are going to be more beneficial for how I'm going to look than that 2% I might lose from fucking the slight change in where I'm staying, you know? Well, yeah, plus, your stress I, levels lower. Plus, well, yeah, yeah. If I'm, if I'm enjoying my time and like, you know, happy to be there versus at home just in the same routine. I think if it's giving me some positive, you know, mental fucking kick, I think that's better than the, the opposite, you know? Yeah, well, what I was sure. going to say also is even if you're – not behind because you did everything but let's say you're stagnant because you're away and it's not like your same environment yeah you're going to be better when you get back in my opinion because you're like now you're kind of refreshed and you're it like was. when I, my, my first two workouts back and being home like i felt way yeah. better than i did what before i left like yeah. you know i was texting you before i left remember yeah yeah yeah, yeah. You know, i was like in a kind of a fucking spot like i was like fuck i don't know if i want to fucking do this shit you know yeah 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 uh, and like I came back Monday, Tuesday, today, I feel fucking refreshed. I had great workouts. Like I feel on the ball, like perfect, you know, like I feel like my physique kind of like had a little bit of a positive rebound and like yeah. in the sense, I just feel like I look a little fresher, you know? Yeah. Yeah. Um, so well, yeah, I'm not listen, worried about it. Listen, I just want to let people know that I've never been a balanced guy. I've always been like, look, if you're dieting, you're fucking dieting, whatever. And honestly, 70, 90% of my career until the last maybe two, three years, I was like that, you know? No, no. And I'm not, listen, I'm not saying one is right or one is wrong. I, no, no, I'm not either. I'm just saying yeah, I've been, all, you know? all I'm saying is if you can do what Ian does, like I would, like if I was coaching somebody, I would basically just say like, look, if you can do what Ian does and not miss a meal, not add any extra cheat meals, not add an extra calorie or gram of fucking anything and you're still going to get your workouts in you're still going to train hard you're still going to do your cardio go fucking nuts well now's the time to do it too right yeah because you're what you're eight weeks out now nine weeks out ten nine ten this weekend last, last so yeah weekend so ten i think so yeah. you kind of want to get that out of your system now probably and, and bear down for the last yeah you know, but i mean run. even even if i think of it like if i did that six weeks out like you know what i mean nothing I was would happen yeah you know mm -hmm. and i think of at that point if it's yeah. like you said like a little you know, mental break from the monotony of just the same every day and to hang out with my friends and fucking, you know, have a little fun, have some good conversations and shit. I mean, fuck, I'm, I'm all for it at this point, man. I've been doing this for fucking 15 years. Like, yeah, I'm over like restricting myself to the point that it's, it's taking enjoyment out of it with no real added benefit in terms of my physique, you know? And yeah. we talked, we talked about this when we were away. Yeah. We talked about this exact thing. Cause I think, I, I don't know if M Melissa was asking me or I don't know how it came up, but we were talking about like, Let's say you measured everything you do in a day, like in terms of bodybuilding. And you were like, I'm doing 96% of what I could do. And he said, and somebody might come along and say, well, you should be doing a hundred. I'm like, okay. But if you do, for, if you go from 96 to a hundred and you're not any better as a bodybuilder, but you just made your life more stressful, right. then is it worth it to go from 96 to a hundred? What's going on, guys? Today's podcast is brought to you by Bashmouth from Bashmouth.com. And as you guys know, I have been partnered with them for quite a while now. The energy gum market is growing, and they are killing it. They've changed their packaging to this resealable bag that people seem to really love. Throw it in your gym bag, throw it in the office, throw it in your car. Wherever you're going to need a shot of energy, this is where you're going to leave it. I'm going to show you guys the website really quick. If you go to Bashmouth.com and use code RBP, you get 10% off. Just go to shop. There's free shipping on orders over 30 bucks, as you can see here. If you go to shop, you can get a sample bag, you can get a stick, you can get a full box, you get what you need, and now you can get bags too. But they have all this merchandise as well. Just use code RBP at checkout and get 10% off. Guys, check out Bash Melt Gum. If you need an energy boost, this is the way to go. You see what I'm saying? Like, you're calculating that, like, yeah. does, that, does that extra 4% really make a difference in my physique or not? So, and look, I, I think at, at a certain level it can, 
Um, but I, but I also think there's a point, and like I was saying before, where it gets to a point where maybe these things are are beneficial, not detrimental. Yeah. You know? yeah. So I think I think for me and where I am in in my career and in my headspace, um, I. I I honestly think this was a net positive, not a net loss. You know, I think it, I, I think if you'd asked me this five, six, seven years ago, and where I was at that point in my life, I yeah. think it wouldn't have been a, a mental positive because I think I would have been stressed out the whole weekend. I would have been worried I'm off my fucking game. Um, but it's that it's the opposite now where I am in my life. You know, yeah. where I'm at in my life, I'm like, no, I think this is good for me mentally. I think this is a good break um, from the same thing in the same house and the same gym every day with, around the same people. Um, you know, have some time to hang out with you guys. You know, I think that's a net positive, um, you know, because like you said, I didn't miss a beat in terms of all my other stuff. Yeah. Um, so the only thing it comes down to then in my mind is where is that going to put you mentally? If you're in the point of your life where it's going to stress the shit out of you and think, fuck, I'm not in my home gym. I'm not sleeping in my bed. I'm not doing this, which I've been, you've been, you know, a lot of bodybuilders are, um, then I don't think it's a net positive. I think if you're going to feel that way, don't do it. Um, yeah, but yeah, if yeah. it's going to bring you positive mental state and you're not going to miss a beat like I did then I think there's absolutely no net loss there, you know? Yeah, I agree. I think there's mm -hmm. certain, I think it comes down to the person. Like, like if you talk to James, James is more like me. Like he can't be out of his element at all. He's got to be same thing, same every day. He can't like, you know what I mean? But then there's other people. I mean, you've done this before. Remember we were in Texas and you were getting ready for something back then. And you, I think you won that show. Well, I mean, yeah. I haven't watched the show since eight nineteen. So yeah, remember we were at uh, Ben's for like three days or whatever the fuck it yeah, was, yeah. and you were I dieting. Was on too. Yeah, yeah, and last year in Tampa too. Yeah. I remember we were all at fucking Cheesecake Factory, and you had like yeah. fish and fish and rice. Yeah, yeah, and I think you won that show too. So I yeah. mean, look, this is something you're able to do, which is pretty fucking insane. So, uh, Mike, what do you think? You had some extra, you had some extra country fresh vegetables too. So yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Do the body probably made a difference. They'll probably yeah. make a difference. Mike, if I increase my fiber intake a little bit, it'd be good for me, you know? Yeah. <laughs> Mike, what'd you uh what you think of your three days at the cottage? It was good. It was a good time. Yeah, did you get a chance? I laughed to a it? lot. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen you laugh like that. Yeah. Yeah. It was the, veg it was the vegetables. <laughs> <laughs> Salad. Uh Anyway, it was a, it was a good time. We played some pool. We sat around a fire. We listened to some music, and uh, it was kind of a relax. That you know, the best part about the whole fucking weekend. I'll note, by the way, that I'm the only guy here that went in the water, and Mike's the only one that an excuse. So you're both fucking pussies. I went in the hot tub. I went in the hot tub. <laughs> yeah, I did. I didn't bring a bathing suit. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't count. The hot tub counts. That doesn't count. Listen, ever since I saw that shark eat that dude in Egypt, I, I'm scared of... This isn't I'm, connected to any big bodies of water. Here. <laughs> you never know. You never know what... It oh, we like. talked about it. Remember they, they just found a shark in, uh, was it Wyoming? In a yeah, but that, off lake? Swam, that swam up through river systems that connected. This doesn't connect to any river systems like they that. They think someone planted it, too. Yeah, yeah. someone let it free, yeah. I think someone had a pet or they fucking got one yeah. and let it free. Okay, well, that's yeah. fucking terrifying, but yeah. Yeah, that could happen. See? Yeah, that could happen, I guess. Yeah. Thoughts no. are <laughs> Valid point. Valid point. Thank you. <laughs> you never know. That's why when you ask me, you're like, you, I get in the water and you're like, can you touch the bomb? I'm like, I don't fucking know. I'm not trying, man. Are you crazy? I'm like, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can get up as high as possible, you know? Um, no, the best thing about the weekend was I went on my phone. Like, the most time I spent on my phone was just looking at the Masters Olympia. Seeing yeah, the I mean, I lost my phone for an entire day one day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The first yeah. day, wasn't it? Yeah, you did. First yeah. day you were there, Paul. Yeah. Yeah. But the best part about it was you didn't care. I was like, where's your phone? You're like, I don't know. I'm like, I, didn't, was... I, didn't, I didn't go and find it until I went to bed. And other than that, yeah. I have it yeah. all day. I love doing that. I just drive the, just leave oh, my phone behind for great. a couple of days. I fucking hate phones. Yeah, me too, man. I think I only ate twice the whole time we were there. <laughs> yeah. Your, yeah. Your, your meals were 16,000 calories a piece. Yeah. We had a couple of nice meals, though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah well well the one night i didn't i didn't eat any barbecue you guys barbecued burgers and hot dogs and then you stayed well, up with me because eat my meal and you had a bunch of pasta yeah. that night and you ate a oh, yeah. bowl of mashed potatoes a heaping bowl of mashed potatoes <laughs> <laughs> a disturbing <laughs> amount of potatoes it was a massive <laughs> amount and then all those wedges the wedges he's just sitting there with the wedges talking to <laughs> well, and it's funny, his funniest excuse for that was is that he didn't want to eat potatoes he just wanted to eat ketchup it's he loves true ketchup. So he was just using the potatoes as a ketchup delivery system. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's true. That's true. 
Did you see um, that Burger King has uh, ketchup nuggets now? Yeah, they look weird. Ketchup I know nuggets. Yeah, yeah. they're, they're coated like the ketchup seasoning, like uh, like ketchup chips would be. I don't yeah. know. It doesn't really explain they have it. Ketchup it says... in them, or they have ketchup in them. I think they're just like coated with them. ketchup, like a yeah. hot wing, like a yeah. buffalo yeah. sauce on a hot wing. They also yeah. have uh, chicken. It's not a pickle. dry powder. They're wet. They seem like they're dry, but they're just red. Okay, but they're like completely red coated. Like they're a really also... powder. Yeah. Like ketchup what I'd chips. like to try the ketchup chips. That's what I was saying. Yeah. yeah what yeah. I'd like to try is the pickle chicken nuggets they have. Ew. I'd be more down for that than I would for chicken. Uh, Pick- for pickles Paul, go try- good with chicken. Paul, try and get Mike to eat it. Mike, you don't like pickles at all, eh, Mike? No, I love pickles. I like them on their own, like dills. <laughs> but I don't like them on, on shit. You ever had them on a chicken sandwich? Yes. Yeah, Here, Here we go. Here we go. Really? Mm-hmm. Hot sauce? Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> No, no pickles, man. Oh my god! You know what I was thinking about yesterday? I started laughing my ass off. The fucking phone case. Yeah. yeah. Oh, the phone, phone case. case. That's a nice phone that case. was the nicest so, thing. I've so ever for seen. you guys, so for you guys watching, so <laughs> so you know, every time me and Paul go somewhere, he find he finds something that he can like latch onto. So like last time we went away, it was the red eye at Starbucks. Yeah. The one oh, time but went, I've been doing that for a long time. But the anyway. time, the time. <laughs> Disclaimer: I've been yeah. the, time, the time we went, the time we went to eat with Ben and whatever, he got steamed spinach. Paul got steamed spinach. <laughs> never, never did that in your life. <laughs> no, that's true. I never since either. <laughs> so this, uh, so this trip, we're sitting around the campfire, and Ian is showing Paul something on his phone. So Paul grabs Ian's phone, and Ian's got like this North Face, like cushion, it's like uh, a coach phone case it's, it's like, like it's like a north face jacket like yeah it's like a north face jacket. jacket it's got a padding on it and paul's high as fuck and he goes this case is so soft well, well, first <laughs> so, first ian asked me to pass me his phone so yeah you're right i consumed some some uh, uh some hallucinogenics that night Vegetables. so i grabbed the phone <laughs> and i handed it to ian then afterwards i was like what was on the back of that phone? So I was like, wait a minute, what do you got on the back of that phone, Ian? And he's like, you like that, don't you? And then he showed it to me. And it was like a sofa on the back of your couch. It was awesome. So even so as soon as Paul goes, it's a there you go. it's a North, it's a North Face puffer jacket. So listen, <laughs> as soon, we're all sitting, we're all sitting around the campfire. As soon as Paul goes, Hey, what's on the back of your phone? I go, oh, here we go. I go, I right heard, yeah, I heard you right away. I was like, oh, God. I hear that. I was, just happy, I was just happy someone noticed, you know. And fucking, yeah. uh, I had to do a double take. Mike starts fucking howling because he knows exactly what's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Paul's like, yeah. where'd, you get, "Where'd you get that? Where'd you get that?" <laughs> but it was weird because it didn't register at first. <clears throat> like I hand him in his phone, and then afterwards, I was like, "That didn't feel like a regular phone." And then I was like, "What do you got on the back of that phone?" Ian? And then he's like, "You like that, don't you?" And I can see your face lit up because I noticed it. <laughs> Let me tell you about this. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that feels good. That feels good. It's nice to hold. Yeah. <laughs> It Where, where'd actually, you get it, that? It is actually pretty nice. I just ordered get that on, <laughs> online on some some like phone case. I literally just googled fucking phone cases and whatever site. I ordered a bunch on that site. Oh, you're gonna get one? Well, maybe. I do need a case. case. It's kind of nice. Uh, kind of nice, nice to hold. <laughs> I used to have this case on mine that had a little thing on the back that you put your finger in and I you can hold your phone. I hate the, I hate those things. Yeah. You, you know, know the it's, ma- it's a magnet. That's like yeah, I see that that charges too, right, Mike? You can put that into a charger. I got a magnet. No, not this one. On the back of mine. Melissa has suction cups on the back of hers. It's a bunch of little tiny suction cups, and she just can stick it anywhere. Yeah. See, oh, I can't. Cool I can't get rid of this because this goes on my motorcycle. It goes on my yeah, on yeah. My handlebar. Mm-hmm. That, yeah. yeah. Well, I got a bike holder for my bike now. You got me for it. Uh, well, you got me the but uh, <laughs> you got me the phone holder for it. So that's pretty. Cool. It's kind of like a like a vice grip grip the way it goes in. Vice you got to like tighten the sc- vice grip. Crisp. What? Fuck that up. I, <laughs> my, my bowels got fucked Rice up. There. Crisps. Rice yeah. crisps. Rice crisps. That's why he always says crisps. He's like, <laughs> he goes crisps. He goes crisps. You do. Crisps. That's Scalvin. Alvin here right before me and Alvin were laughing about it before. What the fuck <laughs> are you talking about? You know, crisps. <laughs> I think you're just really high when you hear him say it. <laughs> well, I usually am when I'm around him. But I remember we were sitting out eating a lot at one time. Me and Alvin were sitting next to you and you said something about crisps. And I said that Alvin, I was like, <laughs> I never said Chris. Yeah, you did. If you ask no, Alvin, you'll, you'll remember. I did not. <laughs> you guys are fine. You're fucked up. You overdo your S's. <laughs> I'm just, I'm enunciating. I just make sure I, I say the over. word. Over. I think you, you over. Crisps. Enunciate, I think. Uh, okay. Italy. Have we made any changes? Or are we still going the same thing? Vito put up a back shot. I saw that. 
What do you think, Paul? You look good in that picture, but let me see. I don't know. We'll bring bring it up so you can take a look if he hasn't seen it. I want to see a video of this guy. Yeah. An update. That'd be better than a picture. Yeah. There it is. Well, that only video that we did see of him, it it wasn't, you know, it didn't look that great. That guest posing he did. What do you guys think? Jumped off stage. The, yeah. back, the back lot doesn't like wow me. Obviously, the front double is fucking mental, but that's the, the shot he always posts. So I've what seen is it. it? Can I ask you something just because for my own, what, what yeah. I'm thinking when I see this, it almost looks like he's hunching forward, like and not lifting up his chest. Yeah, some's, some's a little weird with it. Like you can tell there's a lot of muscle there, but it just doesn't like, it doesn't look as big and as freaky as I, I think it could, you know? Yeah, it's like and he's not a lot. His, lo- his hands are on his hips. Maybe yeah. that's why yeah. his hands are. This is today's update. Not sure when these picks were taken. And it's not today's update. Well, it's you know really I mean? a, it's today's here. update of Good Vito. Yeah, let's go to Good yeah. Vito's page. See if it's there. But I think he he just posted those, so I'm going to assume they're recent. No, it's not here. I don't know where oh, I got it. it. I don't. I don't know where. Maybe it was on his story. Rx muscles got it. Is he those dieting? I think so. Yeah. Oh, there's a back double. Looks pretty good. Oh, that's freaking blessing. It's not really, that... not really that wide down here, but it looks hard, detailed. This is, I don't know, doing something is. like filter wise to all those pictures. Yeah, yeah. So making yeah, himself green. Well, yeah. the only thing that's catching my eye is the R and the G in the background look like they're are, are separated. Oh, it no, no, bigger. It looks like it's no, no, in. no, no, like the not that. It's just that the, all the letters look grainy. Yeah, like, like you crank the structure up. Yeah, it's definitely it's definitely increased. Yeah, yeah. Even if Even you, the pictures we just looked at too, those are definitely sh- structured. Too. Like go up to the top. Like this is definitely edited. You know. Yeah. I don't know if it is. I'm looking in the background to see if anything. No, looks, uh, you think so? Yeah. The contrast on like his muscle, like for someone that pale, how much contrast he's getting, like the sharpness of it, and like mm-hmm. how much stain is pronounced on that lat and stuff. Like it's there's a sharp into it a little bit. Here you mean, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't like to play that game. I just, I don't like to yeah, fucking. It's, you're still, gonna like, be on stage. Home. It's gonna, you're gonna, everyone's gonna see you for what you are. What's the point of? Yeah, I just don't like these to Photoshop pictures. I don't like to accuse people of shit like when, to, I, when I don't know for sure. You know. Yeah. Obviously, I'm sure. I'm just I'll saying, in him. my opinion of, of sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. His injury from that guy exposing is fine, I guess. Legs are good. So. Yeah. Legs are good. Yeah. This is nobody's. Nobody's going to beat Regan. So somebody asked me about, oh, it was Ben. Ben asked me about Regan. He said, where do you think Regan's going to place at the Olympia? And I said, I don't know. I got to see him in Italy. He goes, well, what do you think of the way he looks now? And I'm like, I don't know. Because Regan, I've seen Regan look incredible on Instagram before. And then it not necessarily translate to the stage. This definitely so looks like some of the better conditioning I've seen him in. So I'm, I'm He's a lot bigger. Listen, this is the yeah. best. This is the best I've ever seen Regan, for sure. I just hope, I hope what we see on stage is like a, yeah. A direct relate, you know, yeah. directly related to that. I bet yeah. it on him. I bet on him to win. So I'm I'm confident that he's going to be. Well, with the that. with the added size, if he's even like 95 percent in shape, I don't think anybody can beat him. I agree. I mean, it's actually because he's got all those tools they like right now. Like he's good from the mm-hmm. back. He's got good hamstrings. He's got a really nice, pretty front double and front relaxed. He's got a small waist. He can control his waist. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, he's tall. He's broad. Like he has a lot of good tools. Like. Do I think there could still be some muscle add in certain spots? Yeah, but like, who can't we say that for? You know, I feel like. What do you think about Regan? Because when I think of Regan's physique, I think if he could cap off his shoulders more and thicken up his arms, it would really do his. And also, thicken up the legs a little bit. And I don't know if more, he's done that. More, a little more sweep on the legs, yeah. But I mean, yeah. yeah, like, but like I said, I mean that that's if we're talking about him winning Olympias and or being yeah. top five in Olympias. Yeah, yeah, I'm talking about like what's like, the. Like, yeah, do I think to win a show like this, he needs that now? No, no, no. But like, if we're gonna say Regan's in the top five at the Olympia, he needs to thicken up the limbs. Yeah, yeah. because he's a, he's a yeah. tall, broad guy. He needs a yeah. little th- more thickness on the outer, like on the sweep on his quads, and a little more arms and chest and delt, kind of upper shelf there. But from the back, he's fucking outrageous. What you know, you I th- the shots where he you can see that thickness and where he loses a little bit is just like on his side chest or something. You can see the arm thickness and the chest thickness a little better. I'm um, in the shoulders, um, but I, I think he's definitely grown, so I think he's going to be better, yeah. Uh, Mike, you worked with him a, over the last little bit, I think, a few times, or I don't know how many how many times, but you said you worked with him. So um, when you see him now, and I, I know you 
you've seen some other guys in the gym like Antoine, Antoine, Antoine Quint. Uh, Nick has been there. Where's Regan like amongst these guys? The prettiest out of all of them, that's for sure. Yes. Yeah. Guys. Yeah, I could say that. I could say that for sure. Like easily. And, and bodybuilding criteria, though, does that translate to him being as good as them? Because I know, I know, Nick is in a different. Yeah, I think he's than... more. I think he's. I think he's a lot more complete than people give him credit for. And and being, I, I was with him prior to him going to Vegas and doing all that shit, and then and now I've seen him now that he's come back, and he's literally just a bigger version of what Regan is. Good. So he's like Kept that balanced that shape and he's bigger like Good. especially in lats lats are hanging now like they weren't hanging before like they're slabs of beef right so mm. it's uh it's it's even more noticeable because of that waist stayed the same and everything blew out around it that like it's visually like you you can see people in the gym when he's in a tank top they're like literally like what like looking across the gym like what the fuck is that yeah, because yeah. you don't see you don't see shape like that all the time. It's very rare, right? Yeah. So it's it's whether that I think it'll translate fine. I think he'll win the show. I don't know. Like it's to someone that looks that good, and you see them in person or you see them in pictures. Like you have to always you have to honestly see them against these top guys to know. So it's hard to say. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. he's definitely him and Milos have definitely done what they accomplish what they trying to do. Right? They've accomplished yeah. what they want to accomplish. Whether that size is enough or whatever the shape and the and the sweep and the size of the arm i think has all been addressed because it it looks good man like it's pretty crazy to look is nathan to look is at. nathan gonna be big enough to compete with these guys i don't know it's, we haven't seen nathan in a while either yeah I'm only, I, I, think, I think he's he looks very similar to nathan that we've seen he looks good he's, his condition looks good the only thing I think that's going to be hard from his next to Nathan is his hamstrings and adductors and like legs from the back, you know? And I think he's going to be obviously a little smaller than Regan, even though if he might be rounder, have better arms, better chest, stuff like that. Um, but I, I think just in the back shots is just like the overall presence and width is going to be harder, you know, see like that. Yeah. yeah this is going to be hard. He's going to have a hard time beating Regan hard. from the back. Yeah. He's going to have a hard time. His back is good. I mean, there's a lot of thick, dense muscle there, you know, and you can see like, like Got that roundness in his sh- in his delts and his arms are fucking huge. Um, I just think those legs is like where you know where Regan really can expose someone and his crazy ass fucking adductors and his big ass hamstrings and legs. You know, well Regan has much thicker legs and he's also mastered the art of pushing his hips back a bit. Yeah, yeah. so he's able to make his glutes look thicker, Bam. and which in turn makes the adductors look thicker and makes the hamstring look thicker. So, and then Regan's back is probably one of the best in the IFBB. So yeah. It's his best body part, probably. So from the front, I think Nathan will have him in like a in like the front double, maybe. I don't know though from the back. Like that looks a little bit thicker there than the video. I think what might end up happening is if, if Regan beats him that much from the back, I don't think Nathan's gonna smoke Regan from the front by any means, if beat him at all. Yeah, I understand. So, the gap is gonna be too big. Yeah. Yeah. That doesn't beat what I saw Regan doing. Okay. Hmm. So Nathan's muscularity is good, but structurally he's not a massive guy. Yeah. Whereas whereas Regan is like structurally a big fucking guy. He's got like an ideal structure for bodybuilding. Wide shoulders, small waist. Yeah. Well, just like him and him and Quint, I always compare them because the yeah. two of those the two of those guys you don't realize how like big they are as people, not just muscularity, but just their overall structure until you fucking stand next to them. You're like, Holy fuck. Yeah, when I saw him in fucking in pure man, the guy is gargantuan, you know? Yeah. Yeah. And mm-hmm. it's like it's so big right now. It's ridiculous. And I don't know if Regan's that big now or not. Cause I haven't seen him in a while, but when I used to see them training together, I was like, these two are fucking just giants. They're both yeah. like just tall, wide fucking guys. I don't know if Nathan's structure will be able to hold up to that. You'd be a good show either way. Mm-hmm. Nathan's going to have to be to beat Regan. I think Nathan's going to have to be shredded as possible, which he has no and problem doing. Full and really full yeah. to enunciate those like yeah. those strengths he has, like that those high round lats, the high full chest, the arms, the delts. You know the parts that he can capitalize where Regan doesn't have as much. I mm-hmm. mean um, that roundness and fullness. You know, like that kind of roundness to the muscle. 
um, especially from the front uh, and side. I think that's the only way that he can capitalize on that, you know? I don't think it's a walkaway show for Regan. I think if Nathan... I don't think it's a Cause, walkway. Because Nathan, because Regan hasn't shown, Re, Regan hasn't shown like the same level of conditioning Nathan has shown. Sure. So I think if Nathan comes in with that hard, grainy fucking muscle and is full as fuck, if Regan's not of the same caliber of condition, he might end up losing to Nathan. Maybe we'll see. I'll, that's a lot of new muscle on Regan too. See if it stays when he diets. Paul, do you I think, think it, it will? Do you think it's a situation? Just guessing, obviously, because we haven't seen them next to yeah. each other in a while, but just guessing. Do you think it might be a situation like Samson and Nick, where you have a guy that's really hard and grainy and a guy that's really big and shapely, and they go for the bigger, shapelier guy? Well, I don't think Regan's like, you know, uh, I don't think he's like missed his condition in the past. I just think he, you no, know, could have been a couple get, percent harder. He doesn't get grainy, though. You, like, we've never seen him grainy hard. No, I like, guess not. From what I've seen, he looks in pretty good shape. I'm going to. Even though maybe he hasn't been in the past, I, I think we're seeing a different Regan conditioning wise. And you can see it in how, you know, his is he looks even wearing normal clothes, how his yeah. face looks right now. Um, you know, I, I know Mike commented on that too, like said that he, you know, I hadn't seen him so sucked in like that. Um, mm. so yeah, I'm I'm I put him to win the show and I, I'm banking he's gonna be in, in better condition than we've seen him. And I think that with the new added muscle is gonna be very hard to beat here. Yeah, Regan, you know, he's still building maturity to his to his physique, whereas oh, wait, Nathan's wait, wait. already let's just, just for one minute. I'm not shitting on Regan. I, I oh, of course not. nobody thinks I, that. I think Regan's fucking awesome. I'm just going by what we've seen already in the past. Yeah, if we're going it, by what we've seen is he in the gonna past, is he gonna be I, better? I might not get to win. Yeah. Is he gonna be better? Probably we're we're all assuming and even going by what Mike's seen, he's gonna be better for sure. Mm -hmm. But I'm just going by past shows. So let's just hypothetically say his condition is like past shows. Okay. He's bigger. Let's say he's bigger because we've seen that he's bigger. That's not going to be a shocker. So he's bigger, but his condition is still like the past shows. Can Nathan pull ahead of him based on the fact that he's going to be grainy and shredded? Or can, he, can he if the difference in conditioning is that dramatic? Maybe, yes. Is it, in my opinion, will it be? No. Okay. Paul? Yeah, I agree. I I, um, I don't know if, Nate, if Regan's one of those guys that needs to be peeled peeled you know that's, to, uh, that's the point i'm trying to get across yeah i think i think he's got natural nice flow and lines his physique already you, yeah. you know i don't know if he has to dig it into you know get that peeled hard well i just, look i'm just trying to draw the parallel in because I mean, it's, like, it's like samson samson's not the leanest guy in any stage he's well waiting. this is this is win. what i'm saying yeah. but th this is what i'm saying i'm trying to kind of what i'm trying to do is teach people that watch bodybuilding shows that there are guys like andrew mm -hmm. like samson like regan who yeah. don't necessarily have to be 100% strided to be able to look better. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's, it's, it's like having a full box of tools and like, you know, you're, you're subtracting the tools you don't have out. And if you still got the most tools, you're still winning, you know, yeah, like yeah, if Regan yeah. still has shape size, he's got the conditioning tool there, but it's not as good as the next guy's tool, yeah, but yeah. he still has better and more tools in all the other departments. You can still understand why he wins, you know. Right, right. But, right. but you know, at a show like this, I think Regan may not necessarily have to be, you know, grainy hard. But in a, in a different show against a different lineup, he may well, have yeah. to in Certainly. order to. Uh... Well, yeah. I mean, if you put Regan next to fucking Andrew, right now, An Andrew's got the same fucking tools that Regan does. Yeah, he's yeah. big. He's so, pretty. Like, yeah, you know? so yeah. It's like then it's going to come down to conditioning, right? Yeah. So, in this lineup, though, I don't think he needs to be grainy. Yeah, it really depends how big Nathan. But looks if we're like talking about to be top eight, top 10th, the Olympia, does he have to be grainy or not? Yes. Grainy, but, but hard, you know, yeah, touch yeah. Yeah. everybody gets grainy. I don't think Phil Heath was necessarily the grainiest guy like Branch right. Warren. Right. Um, right, right. But I still think that's conditioning low body fat and dry. Right. If he's low body fat and he's dry, then yes. But it, it, it has to be improved to a level we haven't seen it yet to get there. Yes. Yeah. Right, right. To be a top 10 Olympia, you mean? Yeah. Correct. Yeah, I agree. Uh, okay. Let's do some questions. There. I mean, shit. It's impressive as fuck. That's no, no mm. doubt. So I'm looking two, forward to seeing him. The other you two, do, very are, much so. The other, blessing is looking better and better. Yeah. Is blessing going to be ahead of Vito? I think so. Are we, uh, sir? Are we certain Vito is going to be not first or second? Well, we're not yep. certain of anything, but our, what we're, we're we're betting on and what we think is yes. I think. But I don't. What? what the thing about Vito for me is like you know just going out I've, I've, just going out videos only like pictures I don't want to you know comment on his pictures I don't know if they're legit whatever or not but in that last video that we saw of him where he got injured I wasn't overly impressed to be honest you know not not to insult the guy or anything I just wasn't yeah, overly but impressed still like, but it was still like ten weeks out I know and uh, his posing I don't know 
like when I see some of his poses, poses some work. His poses yeah. yeah. So I think for those reasons, I think Blessing is going to be ahead of him. Uh, I'm going to leave you guys with a question, and then I'm going to go take a piss. Men 18 to 25 doing OnlyFans for extra money for bodybuilding. Thoughts on that? Well, well what kind of stuff are they doing? Yeah, what are they doing? Uh, are they nudity only, or? It's OnlyFans. You, you can do whatever you want. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess you answer. Are they the cooking? Question. Are they <laughs> cooking? Is it a cooking show? Are they farting in a jar? But I guess he answered the question. Like you just said, you can do whatever you want. So I mean, like, yeah, I guess you can do whatever you want. I mean, like, yeah, as long as you're not like, doing do, stuff that's what, gonna... what I do. I think if, I think there's a lot of guys that do. Like even my buddy Julian does like an OnlyFans where he puts just like exclusive training content yeah. and like updates and stuff like that on. Where it's like a subscription service, which I guess yeah. you can do on Instagram now. So I don't see why you would really need an OnlyFans. I think it might be easier to navigate. Like I think the the subscription service, at least when I've used it on on Instagram, is a little hard to like compile everything. It's still like in your inboxes and you can search them and stuff, but shit gets lost where I think on maybe OnlyFans, the platform's a little better for that. It's funny. But like, yeah. If you're going to put fucking sex content up, I mean, I guess that's just a fucking moral decision at that point. I mean, I think a lot of people just assume that OnlyFans is just sex. I don't think a lot of people know that you can use it for other purposes. I think people just think content on there. There's what? OnlyFans TV now too. Yeah. Oh, really? Yeah. We're like huh. trying to compete with YouTube and have like lots of content. Oh, wow. yeah, and that's free? Is that free to use? I'm not sure. I've never been on it, but I've heard about it. Yeah. But it might be a good thing for guys too because it gives, uh, like, if guys are on there, it's like, oh, I'm looking at so and so's training content. And they, their girlfriend catches them. They're like, yeah, it's to see Buddy's training content. Huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's pretty good. Like, oh, it's where he does his updates. Uh, <laughs> it's a good decoy. <laughs> but no, yeah. I mean, I guess, I, I, like, you can't really answer the question. Like, if it's for sexual stuff, I mean, I don't know. I mean, do you think, Paul, do you think that judges knowing that of a man might hold a bias? I no. think, I, I don't think, I think maybe some guys are banging grapefruits before. <laughs> right. I, never have, but... <laughs> I think subconsciously it might play into some people's minds. I, um, I, you know, just speaking of myself, I do my best to not let that stuff get in my head when I'm when I'm judging a show. Uh, but you know, everybody's human. You may have some preconceived thing in the back of your head. You well, know, if, if you if you saw a guy that was on stage, and you're like, huh, I just saw this guy on Instagram getting roasted because he was doing fucking getting pegged in the ass by another dude on his OnlyFans. Are you gonna maybe hold that against him a little bit? It's tough, you know. I know, like I said, like I, I'd like to say no, and I wouldn't ever, I know, and I wouldn't let that play into it. But everybody's human, you know what I mean? Like you got things in the back of your head that you may not be aware of and yeah. that are influencing you. What do you think, Floyd? Mm. What's the question? Can we do OnlyFans? <laughs> you asked. <Yeah. laughs> no, but you guys changed the change the topic. You were talking about judges. No, well, we're talking about <clears throat> like what if someone <clears throat> was doing a show and you knew that they did some stuff on on uh, OnlyFans? Would it affect your judging of him? Hold a bias, yeah. Uh, it depends what they did. I mean, fuck if they're if they're. I... This is such a tough one. Yeah. Tough, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if you can. I, it depends on your fucking morals. Personally, if I had to do, if I had to do, like porn to bodybuild, I would feel like there was something wrong. I would feel like I should be doing something else. I think the only, as a judge, I think where the only time it might really affect my opinion is when you're talking about someone at the very top of the sport. Like I think if you're talking about someone that's going to be winning an Olympia or like winning a big, big show like that, where they're going to be a face of your sport to some regard. I think it's maybe a decision you have to take a little more into consideration, a little more carefully, even if you shouldn't. Um, I think then there maybe can be some like, okay, do we really want this guy that's fucking spitting in dudes' faces and right. you know and jizzing on their backs to be like the? Does they have to be guys? Maybe I'm maybe I'm maybe I'm banging. Maybe I'm tons banging. of girls. Tons of it's not the same thing girl. with the girls. Yeah, so yeah. The, that's why I said with the. It's not even bothered to use the girls because I think it's like so, it's so fucking normal these days. I don't think anyone. Holds no, it. I mean if the guy like let's say I start OnlyFans. Oh, they're just banging girls on it. Let's say I'm banging it's my like, wife. I, I'm just using fucking homo Let's shit. Say, that's pretty intense. That's, what, that's what I see. See? <laughs> Automatically go there. <laughs> just assuming. You're just I'm, assuming. I'm supposed to be the supporter for the gays. I'm shitting on them. You're doing gay stuff. Fuck you. If you're doing straight stuff. Well, so, well who would went... pay for heterosexual porn on OnlyFans where you can what get it mean? for free of? Of course you would. Yeah, I, I think that's probably would you? a lot. Yeah. If, yeah. Let's say. There's tons of there's bodybuilding couples out there that are on yeah. OnlyFans. So yeah, so let's say I'm doing saying, like I'm like, having sex with my wife on OnlyFans and we're getting paid. Do I get judged poorly for that? I don't think so. No, this is this yeah. is different times. You know, maybe 20 years ago, but not now. Like, do you, do you think if me and Melissa started an OnlyFans where I'm just fucking around my OnlyFans, that would affect my placings? No, I don't think it would. No, 
And I yeah. don't think, and I wouldn't. It get might it. affect now, the future contracts. If you started, some of the companies you, are you, think if, you think if Chris and Courtney start doing it, and Chris is winning the goddamn oh. every year, and he's the face of the fucking sport, is that going to affect that? I don't think it. I don't think so. No. What I do think is, where he's just too dominant, doesn't matter. I think yet. he's well, too dominant. I think if you started banging a bunch of dudes on your OnlyFans, then it'd be a problem. See, that's <laughs> see, there's a difference, you know. Yeah. Be probably more money. Or grapefruit. <laughs> so, so speaking of the grapefruit, do you think that held uh, him back from winning uh, any Olympias? I was just about to say that. Who are you talking uh, about? Who well, are you talking well, about? I'm not going to say who. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Same initials as Kevin Garnett. <laughs> uh, I don't know, man. I mean, we'll never know the answer to that. But I just, I would, we were... I would like to think that. I would like to think it doesn't matter, but it is a business after all. And, yeah. and you're and you're the ambassador of the sport when you're Mr. Olympia. Yeah, yeah like do so I think at an NPC show or national show, it's going to make any difference? Fuck no. No, um, I don't think the judges probably even know any of that kind of stuff at that level. You know, I don't think that you have that much involvement in the world that it makes big of a difference. But yeah, I think the only time subconsciously or consciously it would really make you start to sway an opinion is when you're talking about maybe a close show and you're talking about someone being like the leader in the face of a sport you know yeah yeah well there's been bodybuilders in the past that have moved on to porn yeah or maybe did porn before their bodybuilding careers i don't know which fit came first yeah oh. <laughs> <laughs> Saying who for it? Game one. I'm waiting for I can, you to, I can't think for you to elaborate more. <laughs> I can't think of one though. He won the Bruce. USA's probably about 30 years ago. I can think of a Canadian. Bruce. I Patterson. can think of one too. Yes. Patterson. Yeah. Bruce Patterson. I was, I was thinking Chris Duffy. Okay, can, can we move on from this? Yeah. <laughs> okay. uh, has the idea of any of the Mr. Olympia and Miss Olympia winners doing a pose down together on stage ever happened? No, but I, it would be cool, I guess. Would it? Yeah. Do you like the men together, not men and women, but I think doing oh, like she, she's saying men and women. Oh well, I don't really see that, but I think doing like the two twelve with the classic with the open with the yeah. whatever. Yeah, we've cool. talked about that. Yeah, for sure. What put them all on stage together for a pose? Yeah, just for the fans. I don't think you should like yeah. give an overall winner because it's impossible yeah. to compare. But yeah, but do I think you could do it for the fans and have a pose down with all the winners? I think that'd be. I think the fans would fucking love it. I think it. the. I think the give problem... a fan choice award for that. Then you know. Yeah, but I think the problem with doing that is if you put Hottie next to Chris Bumstead. And Sean Clarita, the fans are all going to pick Chris Bumstead, and it makes your Mr. Olympia look worse. Hey, wait, wait. They're only going to pick Chris Bumstead, I think, now because of who Chris is as an entity. But I think if you're, if say we had Breon winning the the classic, like he was a few years ago, well, I think then it's a different story. I think Hottie's going to win that that show now. I don't agree. I do. I think, think Hottie, I think, if it's a popularity think, contest from the fans, Hottie's going to win that all day, man. I think Chris will win because people love his physique not just because he's chris i I think yes but this is a nuanced answer because chris is so loved partly because his physique is so pretty i know i think that i think that is not necessarily going to be the same for every single champion of that specific division didn't say that so but that's what i'm saying chris is specific in this answer but you're saying it's because he's popular and i'm saying even if people don't know i'm saying it's well i'm saying it's popular but his his popularity is influenced because of his physique so they're both the same answer so i think like someone like breon or like if you have someone who let's say has a comparable pretty physique maybe not as pretty as chris's but could win that division but doesn't have the level of popularity i think it's now a very different answer yeah, right. we're saying the yeah. same. We're saying the same thing in two different ways. Like even if you had, even if you had Urs up there, who's very popular, Urs as a very is physique. not even close to Chris's physique, in my opinion. No, but you're talking about third place, where Hottie could easily come third place this year. So I mean, like you know, what I mean, you're talking about guys that are at that level, you know. Look, Urs is close in terms of placing, but Chris's physique is a different physique than anybody's we've seen. I agree, hundred percent. I but just and, and the reason I'm thinking and the reason I'm, the reason I'm thinking the way I'm thinking is because when we saw a photo of Chris next to Rami, yeah, everybody was like, "Ah, oh, Chris is incredible. He's the greatest." Exactly. Yep. So all I'm saying to you is, it but it de- depends. Now, what if you have what if you have Derek Lunsford win the Olympia? It doesn't matter. People are still going to pick Chris because they like because that's the physique every man wants to have. Yeah, but the, 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 you're still answering the question: is is what if Chris is not the champion in that division? Are they still always going to pick the classic guy? No, they're picking okay, well, that's what I'm saying. It's Chris. They're picking yeah. Chris's physique. 
Yes, but I'm saying right. Chris isn't going to be there forever. So saying not having this idea because people are just going to pick Chris. Well, I'm, yeah, not, Chris retires, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not saying the classic guy is always going to beat the open okay. bodybuilder. That's what. That's what I'm. That's what I'm no. debating. That's not yeah. what I'm. That's not what I'm saying at all. Yeah. I'm saying I'm just debating. It's not. It's Chris specifically. It's Chris specifically. Yeah. 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 Which yeah. I agree 100. So what I'm saying is, as a business, if you do that even though it's fun for the fans, you're devaluing your product, which is the Mr. Olympia by having Chris beat him because the Mr. Olympia is supposed to be the best physique on earth. Yeah, well, then, I, you, you make it, then you make it, you need to make it specifically a fan choice award. You're not judging it from a judge. No, it, it is, but it's still in the public eye. Now we're like, well, this guy's actually better because we saw the most better that the fans chose him. So the fans can be choosing him for a multitude of reasons. It's not necessarily, they think he has, the, like the best bodybuilding physique, but they're just choosing what they would like. And I don't think that devalues the winner of the open per se. There's a reason open why it's still the Mr. Olympia title. It still has a bigger purse. It's still a more prestigious title. You don't know. Okay. So I think of it like in terms of cars, right? So GM won't ever build a Camaro. That's better than a Corvette. I get that. Sure. But that's because they don't want to devalue their Corvette. Right. So they like, want to piss off their Corvette so the, customers. Probably. So the, so the Corvette ZR one is the best car that GM makes like as far as like regular sports cars. Right. So they're not going to make a Camaro that will beat a Corvette ZR one. And it's kind of the no, same. I completely understand your analogy for sure. That, But that's the, what I think the IFBB is doing. Like, okay, if we put them next to each other, we're like, yeah, but, but, kinda... but, I, but, but I think this only extends right now when Chris is the champion. Agreed. Yeah. So Agreed. I think you could still put it in and Chris might win, but like, I think, you know, you could have it where in three years from now that the open guy wins. So I don't think you have to have it where the open guy wins every time. So I don't think it's devaluing it in the same way that you're thinking, even though I could agree if Chris is still competing for 10 years and he just comes and wins that award every single year, but it might be, he wins this year and next year. And then say he retires. And then now you have Derek wins a few. And then maybe the two twelve guy is fucking sick in five years from now and wins it, you know? Yeah. That, that's the only one I would like. I would want to see the classic winner against the Mr. Olympia open champion. I, to me, that's, I wouldn't you excite me. 212 and open. I would see 212 and open. Oh yeah, absolutely. You know, you think back to when Derek was winning 212. Um, yeah, you know, he would I mean, have like, never, he would have never beat Phil. No, no, no. But you could be like, you know, that or guy Sean. should maybe. You could, but you could see, like, maybe that guy should, go, you know, should go in the open where you know he could compare to these guys if he was, now, if he was allowed to come in heavier. Yeah. 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 Now it's six years ago, seven years ago, and we have Flex Lewis and Phil Heath standing. Yeah, here. yeah. Like, like, is is do you have? Is, are people going to vote for Flex or are they going to vote for Phil? You know. Listen, they're going to vote for Phil hundred percent, hundred percent of the time. Yeah, I think because I think a lot of these awards are, are picked by fans mostly on on who they like the most. Yeah. And I think Phil was very liked, but I think Flex Lewis was extremely liked. Um, so I think even there, I'm not agreeing that I'm not disagreeing that I think Phil would beat Flex in a. But I also think, but, sound, I, but I think in that award, Flex might win. But I also think fans like to think that they have a judge's eye, so they're not going to pick. Flex Lewis over Phil Heath. If if they tell them that the award is given, you're, you're, on... thinking, you're thinking of of a bodybuilding fan, man. And I think 99 percent of like are not as hardcore bodybuilding fans as we are. I think people that go to the Olympia might even be more fans of classic or more fans okay, of. Okay, wait a minute. Well. Can they I might just... just pick who they like the most? You know. So one second. So this whole classic two twelve open bodybuilding thing, I've already said that that would be fun. We've talked about this a hundred times. Right. Like I'd love to be able to do it. Yeah. I'm just saying why I think the IFBB doesn't do it. Oh, okay, yeah, and I'm I'm, I'm just I'm, debating. I'm not I'm not saying they shouldn't. Uh, I think yeah. they should. It'd be fun, but I'm just saying I think the reason they haven't done that is maybe they're maybe that's the same thing. Maybe they're like, well, what if Flex Lewis beats Phil Heath? Yeah, sure. like that doesn't look good for them because the to two twelve Mister Olympia is not a Mister Olympia. Yeah, he's a two twelve Olympia winner. Yeah. But the but the Mister Olympia is the open bodybuilding champion. But, see, but then in that same breath, you could also say the same same thing when they do give out. The, the fans choice award every year, which they do. And it's not necessarily Hottie won it when he didn't win the Olympia. So now are you devaluing the Mr. Olympia because someone that didn't win won the fans choice award? That's the same thing now. We have better eyes than the judges. We think Hottie should have won. No, so now because you're it's still, devaluing who the judges picked. It's the same thing. No, it's not because it's still open bodybuilding. But you're, right? st you're still devaluing who they chose as their champion, you know? Right. But it's still in the same category. Right, yeah, and you're okay. and you're I, saying I understand what you're saying, but I I think it could still be perceived the same way. Yeah, I mm. I think it just needs to be looked at as not necessarily as as just a who do you prefer and who do you whatever you know. Yeah, and if if you if you choose to look at it as like yeah we're devalued because everyone's I don't know I don't know why I'm stuck arguing the side that I don't agree with. Well, no, we're just debating <laughs> a topic. I don't think you're dis I don't think you're disagreeing with me. You know. <laughs>
Uh, okay. Two questions. My wife asked if you cloned your wife, significant other, and slept with the clone, is that cheating? And oh. if Ronnie Coleman wasn't around, how many Olympias would Jay Cutler have won? Okay. So, which for, so first question, the cloning question. Uh, if you cloned sure, your wife. Does your wife know you're fucking the clone? Yeah. Your well, wife her. knows? No, 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 it doesn't say. So, like, do you? does your wife know you cloned her? It should be okay. okay. It's her. So like, yeah, if your wife knows you cloned her and says, yeah, go fuck her, it's just me, then I guess it's not yeah. really me. But if you like, it's still, another, wife, it's still another entity, though. It's not actually her. Yeah, but it's I'm saying it is her. But if I'm you change saying, her hair. But then on the other side of it, if she doesn't know you've cloned her and you're fucking this cloned version of her on the side, well, then yeah, you're certainly cheating on her. Yeah. Let's be honest. I don't think any of our wives are going to be okay with it. No. 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 Zero percent. No, I think it gives would us. You be okay, would you be okay if you cloned yourself and you saw your other self banging your wife? <laughs> Can I join? Like going to town? Can I join? <laughs> join? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Can I join and make out with myself? Can I? Can I no, not myself. <laughs> Give myself a back rub. Yeah, get it. Get I it, just get wants it. to see what he looks like. In <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. If if Mike, if you could clone yourself, and no. and Cat wanted to bang the clone, would you be okay with it? No. Not it's still like another. A... It's still not me. It's yeah. not my. It's not like I'm but, in that clone's but, head. But he's your clone. Like he's your subordinate. Like he's your like. Yeah, but he can get a different mode. Like he can't. He can't think like, on, I want to. I want to steal think on my his own. wife now. No, like, no, he, he, like, I want to take this guy. He doesn't deserve. I'm the I'm the better Ian. I'm going to take her from him. You know. No, he can't. No, no. He, can't. He's gonna gonna he has his own. He has his own consciousness. No, yeah. I'm thinking like he's only. He's like your. Well, then you're thinking of a robot. Then yeah, it's like, yeah, yeah. Just yeah, like no. a sex toy. Yeah. Okay, but he, yeah. he has to have a consciousness still. But then, yeah, if if I just had a robotic version of me that my wife could fuck like a dildo, then I mean, fuck, go for it. But if it's with, <laughs> I'm tired tonight. Go yeah. The, yeah, yeah, go. Go, 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 go to the clone. Two over there. <laughs> go wake up the clone. Yeah. Paul, uh, if you my wife clone... wouldn't wouldn't be happy with that. I'm sure let's she say, wouldn't be happy. Let's with say that. she is. Let's say you cloned yourself, and you're like, here, go ahead. Oh, I thought you meant if I clone her. If she, if I clone myself, <laughs> yeah, um, would I be okay with it? Yeah. Oh, depends on how. Like, is it like like Mike says? It's just a robot of me, or is it like no, an actual? It's a clone. Breathing, it's a la breathing, thinking, different person clone. altogether. He lives in your basement. I wouldn't like it, but if anyone's gonna bang her, I'm glad it's my my clone. <laughs> <laughs> are you gonna join in? Like, are you watching? No, uh, not about two guys and uh, stuff. But it's not two guys. It's you. It's you. Yeah, it's still another penis in the room. But it's your penis. It's your dick. <laughs> it's my dick, but it's not on my body. So it's it not really my dick. But it's your dick. It's, it's modeled after what my dick. What if you can build them purposely with a smaller dick than you see? Like, yeah, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> it's also, it's a little, like a little thumb dick that I, that I would be okay. Good luck with that thing. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah knock yourself out. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Ian, you wouldn't be okay with a clone? But no, like I said, if it, if it was just a robot fucking version of me, then sure. Um, if it's got consciousness, no. No. Okay, I don't so trust my own mind it. that it would not try and do some yeah. cheat. Not if it could develop feelings. I'm going to try and steal her away from me, and then I'm battling with myself for my own fucking wife. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I'm, probably such gonna I'm such Obviously, an if, asshole. Obviously, if I fell in love with <laughs> Melissa, this guy is going to be in love with Melissa too if it's taking my mind from right now and transplanting it into this guy. And he has all my memories. He's going to feel the same way about her. I do. And he's going to order for himself. And then what if he's, like, he's going to be like, "This is my wife," and I'll be like, "No, it's my wife." He's like, "No, I have all those memories too. This is my fucking wife." Yeah. And then what he's if he's going to try to fight for her the same? And what if he's willing to do things you're not? Like, he quits bodybuilding tomorrow. He just take care of her all day long. Then I'll have to kill him. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> is that murder? What if a, I kill, what if, a, I kill yeah. if I kill myself, is that murder now though? Yes. I wonder. Because it's his own yeah. entity. He's got his own consciousness. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, second question. question. If Ronnie Coleman wasn't around, how many Olympias would Jay Cutler have won? That's a well, good question because you could say 10. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty much all the ones he came second in, obviously. Yeah. So, I mean, how many did he come second in? Six? Like, fucking no. 2001, 2003, 2004, 2005. So, he would okay. have. No, least... no. I think 2005 he won. No, no. Yeah, 2005 he was second. Who was second in who was second in 2002? He didn't compete in 2002. Oh. Yeah, so there's four there. So he would have been a fucking eight-time Mr. Olympia. At least, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah. Huh. And Ronnie. if Ronnie wasn't there, who knows? Maybe what? Why didn't he compete in O two again? Because he wanted to get bigger so he could beat Ronnie. So maybe he would have won that one too. Maybe he would have been like Ronnie's not here. The door's open. I'm fucking going to you know. So it could be nine, eight to nine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, get Doctor Mike on. His training knowledge is second to none. Doctor Mike has been on. Man, check it out. Podcast <laughs> was up like last literally week. just on. <laughs> uh, would you advise a new pro to do? What would you advise a new pro to do to set themselves up after bodybuilding? That's a good question. That's your money. Um, don't treat your sponsorship money like it's going to be there forever. Yeah. Uh, I've seen that happen. Guys get contracts; <clears throat> they make like you know five to ten grand a month, and they just and then, live off it like crazy. And they live off it, and they just it runs out, and then and they it's going to be coming in forever. Yeah, yeah. Then the contract yeah. ends, and they got nothing. So I would say. Live First like you five, to, even five to ten grand a month. Like nowadays, that's fucking. Yeah, that's not a lot of money, dude. No, it's not. Like, how are you, it, where enough, are you? Where are you living with that? Like, it's enough, yeah. it's enough to live off of five to ten grand in a month states, in the states for sure. Yeah. No one. Not everybody's buying three thousand dollars sunglasses like you, Mike. <laughs> no, but I'm just saying, like, if you're living a bodybuilding life, you have, if you have mortgage, you have rent, you have whatever. Like, there's like one bedroom apartments in Toronto now for twenty six hundred bucks a month. Yeah. yeah, I don't think those yeah, guys are making five thousand dollar month contracts. That's their sole source of income. I think that is. I think those guys are generally doing some coaching on the side, or yeah. you know, doing something else. Um, I think when you're getting to guys making ten k plus, then definitely it could be. Um, but you can live off one hundred twenty k. You can't. Regardless live. of the amount of money, the point is, I would say if you want to stay in bodybuilding, then you have to try and have a skill that you know you can that will pay you afterwards. For example, like if Ian wants to stay in bodybuilding. He could probably coach for the rest of his life and make a ton of money because he's got a great track record, whatever, and people respect his opinion. If you don't want to stay in bodybuilding, then try and get some type of certification that's outside of it. Like if like Louis, like our friend Lou Joseph went and got his real estate certification and started doing real estate while he was bodybuilding. That way, when he retired, he was already kind of fully into real estate and he was making money. So like yeah. bodybuilding is going to last so long. You got to set yourself up for after. But you have to ask yourself, like, if you want to stay in the bodybuilding world or if you want to go a different direction after you retire. And yeah. then you have to make sure you take the steps to get there. So, man, I thought that, like, before we started Hostile and before I started the podcast, I was like, maybe I'll just go sell cars. Maybe I'll sell houses. Yeah. I was going to get out all the way. I remember you talking about that a few times. And then, and then just kind of panned out. But, like, I think that's the number one thing you have to do is decide what you want to do afterwards and then take the well, steps to get there and that way too you're probably your transition to retirement won't be as hard on you if you've already got something to fall back on yeah i think it depends how high level you are as a bodybuilder for sure if you're if it's your career where you're making money and you're living the life fully i don't think anything you do will make it easy to leave no, but I think it'd be easier if you've got something to transition yeah, to, whereas you got nothing. Yeah, if you're like a broke ass motherfucker and you got nothing going no, on, then yeah. Either way, it's not going to make it harder. I think is what Paul's saying. Yeah, 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 yeah I agree. I, agree. In, I think having something to transition out is always going to make your life easier when the time yeah. comes. Yeah, yeah, agree, agree, agree. Um, no, enough about that. Stress me the fuck out. Sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> uh, what if anything do you feel is missing in the fitness industry today? Oh, oh, that's such a fucking hard question, man. There's I don't know what's missing, but I know I could do with what I could do without it. Well, I was that's where I was going with the question. <laughs> <laughs> what do integrity, I feel? Mike, Mike, this is going integrity for sure. What do I feel like is missing aside from integrity? Passion. Yeah, true passion though. Yeah, not like, passion you, for you genuinely like you genuinely like working out, and it's something you enjoy as like you would do it if no one knew you did it. Yeah, if no one was, no one, if there was no Instagram or anything like that. Still, so. I'll give you, I'll give you something more tangible. So those things are definitely right, but I'll give you a different answer, just to be different. I think a governing body would be nice. I think sure. something missing in the bodybuilding industry or fitness industry is a governing body, either attached or not attached to the IFBB. And what I mean by that, like is, a union for built for athletes. So there's, thing? there's two different things I was thinking about. One, a governing body that would work with the IFBB to make sure. All the shows are streamlined, all the lighting, all the backdrops, everything is like, it's not a free for all. You can do whatever you want. Like, yeah, this is how your show's got to look. This is how the lighting's got to be. This is how the backdrop's got to be. Like every other professional sports. Yeah. You have to have 
the right lines on the right, right. field, the right, right court size, the right yeah. ball size, everything's standardized. Standard, the right, yeah. The right, this is the the right live stream people, the right fucking everything. These are all the prices you can charge. Like yeah. this is this is what it is. Yeah, yeah, standardization. So that's the one one side of it I was thinking. Three hundred percent. The second side I was thinking of was kind of like what Mike was talking about, maybe not necessarily union, but at least a real athlete rep. Don't get mad, Bob. Uh a real <laughs> A, a, a real athlete reps union, not just Bob, but like, or not just Milos or not just like anybody who thinks they can do the job, but like a group of people that would connect on a regular basis and be like, what can we do for the athletes? What can we, how can we get them healthcare? How can we get them more healthy? How can we get them yeah. whatever, whatever it is, whatever, better, better pay or whatever the fuck. It'd be nice to have like a council, I guess you could say of people that would help the athletes. Get, get what um, they need and want. That that makes you think of it. You know, the the, 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 the typically at a, at a non Olympia or Arnold show, the the price the the purse is ten grand, right, for winner. Yeah. How long has it been? How long has it been that way now? Forever. A long time. Yeah. I yeah. know. Yeah. It needs to go up. Well, I don't really, see a lot of people. I, I feel like there's this common misconception that like promoters are making a killing and they just pocket all the money and fuck all the athletes. <laughs> it's, to what I've seen. And I'm telling you guys from like the behind the scenes a little bit from what I seen, it's not, it's not very cheap to put on a show. Like it's not cheap at all. When you factor in sanctioning fees, you factor in all the, all the prize money because you're not just talking about open bodybuilding. You're talking about prize money for all the classes. Yeah. Then you're talking about venues and you're talking about any spe special shit you might want to do for the athletes. Like, you know, if you want to put something nice in their gift bags, you, like there's so many fucking costs that people don't consider. Yeah. You know, trophies and this and that. And it's like staff, judges, everything. Until more sponsors start getting involved in the sport. Cause look, I could name 10 supplement companies off the top of my head right now that don't put money into the sport, but take a lot of money out. Yeah. Right. Like I can literally, I could name 10 right now that have never, I've never seen them at any show. And they're massive companies and they make a fucking killing. I've never once seen their logo at any show. So like until more of these, until people start putting their dollars where they care about, like if you care about athletes making more money, buy from oh. com buy from companies that are sponsoring the shows. Right. Because if these companies that are not sponsoring the shows, it's like if they would get on board, then all the prize money probably could go up. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. not, I think it's less the promoters in more of the supplement companies that need to step up. Yeah, I can see that. So anyway, um, at this point in your career, Ian, does anyone, anyone ever ask you how many sets you have left? <laughs> Not very often. No, <laughs> the only times I'll ever get it maybe is if say me and a guy go up to a machine at like the same time. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he, he's like, they'll always generally be like, no, no, you go ahead. Um, and I'll be like, no, no, you. And they're like, no, no, you need it. You're, you're more serious than I am, kind of thing, you know. Yeah. yeah and, then, yeah. and then they'll be like, okay, like how many sets you do, kind of thing. And I'll be like, I'll be fucking five minutes, and then you can have it. And they're like, cool. That's the kind of extent of those conversations. I'll generally not have people come up to me in the middle of a working sets, like between sets or something, and be like, hey, how many yeah. got left? They'll generally just hide and wait, you know. <laughs> <laughs> unless it's unless it's someone that i know personally at the gym or like casually from the gym they might come up and be like hey dude how many you got left on there and i'll be like oh, i got two more and they're like cool and they'll just fuck, fuck off for 10 minutes five minutes you know mike if you were on death row what would be your last meal mm. can i have more than one thing or have i think a whole meal <laughs> You can have a, <laughs> like I have a whole no. You can have three course. Is bored. You can have like a three or four course meal, but you can't have like a bunch of different shit. <laughs> well, you can, have a, you can have a bunch of. I'm just gonna stuff. make up my own rules. I'm gonna have. <laughs> I'm gonna have a burger, burger from Burger Drops in Toronto. Never had, oh, never had that. And I'm gonna have a the spicy rigatoni from Carbone in New York or Miami doesn't matter, or Vegas wherever the fuck we can get it from. Never had that either. For, for dessert, I'll have. Uh, I don't know. That's a tough one. It'll be a sticky toffee pudding from this. You love place, that all shit. Eh? Yeah, he told us about that. That's so good, man. <laughs> That'd be a good meal. I, I thought you'd throw pizza in there. I can't see toffee. Yeah, you're the pizza guy. I thought yeah, I no. was the pizza guy. You're the pizza guy. Yeah. 
Uh, I gotta, field, bro. Yeah, I gotta spice it up. I've had a lot of pizza. <laughs> Paul, do you think are you a big toffee guy? Do you think toffee would taste good? Because when he says that, yeah, I'm, I not love like, toffee. I'm not like do you sticky toffee pudding yeah. though? It's like a cake with like you don't toffee, like toffee, sticky toffee in it. You don't like know. caramel? Yeah, I'm not like my last oh my God, meal. That's like one of my favorite flavors. I'm not my, like my last meal. I'm gonna die when I have some toffee. Butter, butterscotch, <laughs> toffee, caramel. That's like my favorite now. Yeah. All of a sudden, you guys are all toffee people. Could be a fucking break. <laughs> I never, like it. Before Mike, I never heard anybody say anything about toffee. Now you guys are all like, oh, yeah. I love toffee. toffee. I love toffee. <laughs> guess guess what else we're doing? Getting a North Face phone case tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I wish I could rewind like 10 minutes and have you answer again just to see what these two would say. The same thing. <laughs> they do it. I'll get rid of it. Um, yeah, I uh, <laughs> you just never asked us before how we felt about top of your care belt. Yeah. I, we've done the last it's meal. It's your fault. No, no, no. Call we've, yourself a friend, huh? We've done the last <laughs> meal. No, we no, you, we've don't done... even, you don't even know anything about me. We've done the last <laughs> meal. Is this, me. is this all a sham? <laughs> I thought you were my friend, man. That's it. I'm, get it. I'm getting a North Face. Case. I'm getting a North Face case. Tomorrow. That's right. We're all getting them. Yeah. No, I've asked you, motherfuckers, about the last meal a million times. No one's ever said toffee. I've, I've never thought about before. toffee. It's not like my go-to, but it does sound. There very good. we go. Is some truth in the matter. Well, that's the truth. I, it's not something I think about often, but I would. Uh, I would definitely try it. It sounds very good. Well, I didn't say I wouldn't try it. I'm just saying it wasn't. That was my question to you. Is Google you... a sticky toffee pudding and what it looks like. Okay, I'd like to see this. You never had it. sticky toffee pudding. Who had I that? never have either. It's like a little cake, like saturated good. in toffee. So is it pudding though, or is it cake? It's like a cake pudding. Like, like it's like yeah, a mushy. You so when you put your, it's almost like a sponge. Yeah. Okay, so when you put your fork into it, like look at that with ice cream, fucking dynamite. Yeah. It's a vanilla ice cream. Yep, that would be eh, good. Eh. Looks good. Doesn't look like the last meal kind of dessert to me. Look at that. Come to come down next time you come down. We'll go to we'll go to Olive Press in Oakville. We'll get one. Okay, I'm in. Hundred percent. You know me. I love food. <laughs> Listen, I didn't say it wouldn't be delicious. I just don't know if it's like a last meal. You know, that's a. Well, what's your last meal dessert then? Chocolate ice cream, just to piss you. My off. real last meal would be, <laughs> I'd be like I'm gonna have my last be meal cocaine. Be like, gonna... <laughs> yeah, yeah, might as well. <laughs> Eight Eight of of this. I'm going out. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna anyway. I'm gonna tell them I want chocolate ice cream. I say please take a picture and send it to Ian. And then I'm gonna, <laughs> and then I'm gonna eat it and die, knowing that you're, hey, you're gonna die furious. Like yeah, I'm gonna I, would just, I, would just, I would kill myself immediately after. <laughs> yeah. Just to take away his pleasure. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, I don't know what my. I honestly couldn't. I have such a tough time with food. I couldn't. I'm not really a dessert guy, so I don't know if I could tell you like what my favorite dessert I've ever had is. Yeah, you're a savory guy. Eh? I like food. Yeah. I, I'll tell you, man, I really like a good carrot cake, like a really good carrot cake. That's yeah. good. Yeah. I know it doesn't sound incredible, like sticky toffee pudding or anything, but I. Ooh, carrot cake is pretty fucking good, man. I'll give you that. I don't know what I would go with. with a good with. icing on it. It's good. Yeah. Carrot cake, cheesecake. A good, a good cream cheese ice cream. I'm not a big fan. Of, I'm not a big fan of cheesecake, Paul. I like cheesecake. You know the, like only, the only cheesecake I've like I've had that I like, I had Oreo cheesecake at mm-hmm. the Cheesecake Factory I liked. Yeah. It was pretty good. Yeah. But I'm I like, I like some good ones, but it's not like it's. I would order it at a restaurant, but I would never pick it as my last dessert ever. So. Yeah, I guess that's kind of how I feel about it. Yeah, I don't know. I'm going to think about that one. I wonder what my last dessert would be. I don't even know what my last meal would be. I think my last meal would be like a really, really good steak. If, if you were going to, you had to order, if you had to order pizza, where would you order it from? Antonino's. Yeah, there's a place from right anywhere there. you've been in the world. Well, I've never had. Hmm. Oh wait, I like. uh I like Chicago style pizza, like deep dish. Yeah. Giordano's is pretty good. I don't know. I've never had like New York pizza, and I know New York pizza. There's a really good, good place in New York called Locali. Yeah. And it's in Miami now, too. That place is fucking, that's pizza. Like, yeah. that's fucking amazing pizza. You know what, Mike? Me and you should go on a pizza tour. I'm one, down. For like a month. <laughs> pack my, I'll pack my car right now. I won't even. No, I think, I think that. <laughs> I think that's something me and you could do and make a make put it on YouTube and make good money doing it. It's like Barstool does that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah but we'll eat the fucking... but we'll eat the whole pizza. We're not just gonna do one bite bullshit. We'll that's all he does, one bite. No. He does one bite. That's the rule. But he eats the slice, I think, but the he judges it off one bite. Yeah, but yeah. we're gonna judge it off the whole pizza. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 
Who's got the best entire pizza in the country? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure it's consistent. By the end of the road trip, you're just so sick of pizza, you're fucking yeah. eat all of it. <laughs> gross. I don't think I could be sick of pizza. I really don't. Yeah, if I had, if I had like a slice a day and I was looking forward to each day to a different slice, then I think I'd do it. Yeah. But if I had to eat like whole pizzas every day, I'd be like fucking. Ian, is there a food that you'd get sick that you would not get sick of if you had to eat it every day? I mean, like, it's kind of a weird question because I've been eating the same fucking six <laughs> years. So, doing that for the last like, twelve years. Yeah, I'm but you don't. But, them, but I don't. You don't them. love. You don't love them. You do it because it's no, your but job. I'm not sick of them, but like, uh, no. But I mean, is there a is there a food that you would eat every day but happily? Like, I'm happy I get to eat this again because for me, it's like probably pasta or pizza. I I pasta. could eat. I could eat vanilla ice cream every day and be fine. Me too. With it. Yep. I could it's eat perfect. donuts every day and be fine. <laughs> Easily. If I, if I had like at, at the end of every day, just like a little bowl of fucking vanilla ice cream, but like maybe a little caramel <laughs> sauce on it or something, I could eat that every day. For yeah, or no, you can't shake. put the caramel on it. Well, I don't have to do that every day. I can do it days I want, you know? No, you have to have the same thing. <laughs> those, are my, yeah. those are my special days. Yeah. <laughs> and then I would just do straight, if I had to pick without anything, I would just pick straight vanilla ice cream. I could eat that every day. Yeah. That's so boring. It's worst uh, I, ice cream. I love that answer but that's but that's why it's good because you can eat it every day is that yeah. something yeah. You, is that what you do paul too same thing or vanilla milkshake yeah go for it okay milkshake. i love milkshakes i was the vanilla milkshake from kawartha awesome how was yours it was all right what'd I'm you get <laughs> chocolate uh, that's why mike why? that's why <laughs> that's not why chocolate sure, you, you know why you know why because i fucked up and they asked me if i wanted regular milk or chocolate milk and i thought the chocolate ice cream would be enough to outweigh the milk yeah. Just the regular milk, and it was too too much milk. Really? So you should have chocolate, chocolate milk. milk. Yeah, yeah. I have to go back up there. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to go back at the corner. <laughs> <time. laughs> did you shit was your good. Pa- did you shit your pants all the way home, Paul? No, because I had a small. I didn't have too much lactose. Okay, okay. I controlled my lactose. Okay. Uh, we'll do a few <laughs> more. Right. Remember when these these fucking pizza pizza buffoons were gonna order delivers pizza from fucking oh, four yeah. hours? Yeah. Mike yeah. ordered Mike ordered a pizza on Thursday night, Paul, before he got there. It's because there was the same the same address was found in the app I looked after. The same address existed in North Bay. Yeah, really. And it picked that one over the one we were at. Yeah. So so Mike orders a pizza on the Pizza Pizza app, I think, or whatever. And he checks it like half an hour later. Like, where's the pizza? So Mike checks it. And it shows the guy like in two hundred and forty four minutes away. <laughs> <laughs> Four hours away, yeah. I'm like, he calls me. He's I'm like, like it's, he just left. It's going to be kind of far. Are you <laughs> sure this is the right address? <laughs> I was like, don't tell him. See if he shows up. Yeah. <laughs> the fact that they even that the fact that you even put that in the like got that order ready to go yeah. before seeing that address is wild to me. You know. Uh, if you have to have calf implants or bicep implants, implants, which ones are you going with? Calf, easy. Biceps. Uh, do any of you deal with shoulder impingement issues? Yeah, just a little. <laughs> <laughs> I was waiting for shoulder, I had a shoulder replacement issue. <laughs> so did Paul. Okay, so uh, how did you resolve the issue? They got surgery and they had their shoulder yeah. replaced. Uh, please have Dr. Mike on bro chat. Guys. Does anybody watch your stuff for it or what? No, no, they want me. They want him on this with the th- oh, four oh. of us. But I can't, it's not fun to do five people, man. Everybody like talks over each other and shit. Um, have you have you ever saran wrapped a body part thinking it would get leaner? Oh, you remember oh, that? Was oh, I remember that for a little. People while. People do around their waist for a well, while. Like preparation H and then preparation, fucking yeah. Yeah. preparation H. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I do have to plead guilty. On you did that? Thing. I I no, not that. I didn't get that stupid, but I did wear a garbage bag. Yeah, after, garbage bag. After <laughs> watching <laughs> after watching Rocky, I threw on a garbage bag and I went for a run. Really? <laughs> I was like fucking 15. Leave me alone. You cramp oh, it up. Oh, you, weren't I, com- you, weren't I you weren't a competitive bodybuilder. No, okay. I wasn't like, no. Okay, sure. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure we've all done some sort of that, but I mean for bodybuilding. Yeah. I've seen some crazy stuff at shows. I've seen people tape their skin down beneath their suits. I've seen some crazy shit. Yeah, that's pretty common, yeah. Um, well, no. If you could instantly master an instrument, which would you pick? Drums. Drums. Guitar. Yeah. Oh boy! I want to be oh, like a way, I'll do. I'll do bass. Now we got a band. Okay, we we'll rush. <laughs> we have three piece band. It's between, for me. It's between drums or piano. Being able to fucking slam the piano. I'm the same. I'm yeah. saying. I think drums for me though, for sure. I, I like the drums better, but I feel like the piano is a cooler, more usable skill. Like there's pianos. Okay. 
You can just bust just out pick a violin, harp. violin, just because I look so ridiculous <laughs> playing yeah, a big harp. <laughs> big ass dude. Yeah. <laughs> will you let me use the hostile gym as a wedding venue? Yes, I will. <laughs> Message for me the for low me. price of twenty thousand dollars. Message me for pricing. Yeah, <laughs> we'll, we'll cater it too for that kind of money. We'll, we'll do the whole shebang. Yeah. Um, thoughts on we'll be your best man. Oh, yeah. 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 We'll guest pose at your wedding for fifteen thousand. <laughs> uh, thoughts on Greg Doucette. What about him? His voice is annoying. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I know. I, I, know I know. Greg hates milk. So. Oh, and, yeah. And, and, and cereal too. Yeah. And cereal. Yeah. Kids who lift heavyweight. He's really angry about milk. Hey, he turned uh, me pro. I'll give him props for that. Uh, do you think there's a difference in the way amateur shows are judged compared to pro shows? Some they are. are some there elements, is one difference. Sorry. One second. Sorry. Some elements perhaps weighed heavily or some not focused on as much as am- in amateurs. Go ahead. No, the criteria is the same. It's just, but they the, the pros get judged again at finals, whereas amateurs do not. Okay. Uh, last question. Nope, 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 nope. If you could choose one animal to put on gear, which one would it be? That's weird. Mm, a gorilla. I like to see a gorilla all sauced up. Yeah, they're already fucking massive, though. I know that'd be. That's yeah. what I mean. So it'd be fucking crazy. Uh, this is actually pretty good. Who is more dangerous to win? Who is more dangerous at the O this year? Based on their Texas Pro showing, Keon in the two twelve or Andrew in the open. Keon in the two twelve, in my opinion. Yeah, he was impressive. Keon in two twelve could win. I don't think Andrew can win. You think Keon's gonna win this year? No, I think, I, I think beating Sean Clarita is a tall order, but do I think he'll move up more placings than Andrew did? Yes. Do I I'm think not... Andrew's gonna go from second to third? No. Do I think Keon could go from fourth, fifth to second? Probably, yeah. Well, so I'm not saying Keon could beat Sean Clarita, but there's potential that he could. Yeah. Whereas I don't think that Andrew has a potential to win the Olympia yet this year. Sure. Okay. I, yeah. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah. I, is that yeah. is that a safe way to put it? You think? Yeah. I, yeah. I agree with that. I don't personally completely agree, but I I understand your sentiment. Yeah. You don't think you you think Sean's got it in the bag, right? I do. I, look, I'm a huge Keon fan. I think he looked fucking amazing at his last show. I think he was definitely improved. Um, I think Sean is just that good. Yeah. 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 Okay. How many more do you think Sean will win, Ian? I mean, until some someone new that's like, it has to be someone new, new. I don't think any of the existing crop there are going to improve enough to beat him. I think if someone no. new goes to the 212, maybe, but I, I don't know. Do you think if Keon were able to get more conditioned, he could beat, he could beat Sean or no? <clears throat> maybe, but like Sean just got like this thin, like, muscle. fucking yeah. freakness about him, man. Yeah. He looks yeah. like... He's he's Ronnie Coleman miniaturized, you know, like yeah. so full. He's so bubbly. He's like just looks fucking insane, man. When you see him by himself, you're like, this is the best bodybuilder on the planet. You yeah, know? but if you think Derek beat him, right? Derek beat him, but Derek went on to come second in the men's open one year, you know. But but when Derek beat him, I believe he was similar size to what Keon is now. Yes. Okay. I won't disagree there. I think he's definitely still better from the back. And obviously the conditioning it, discrepancy is there. The conditioning discrepancy is the big yeah, one. I think yeah. the, the back and the conditioning, but I think Keon does have better quads than Derek had then and a better chest and better arms. Well, that's why uh, I, that's so. kind of what I was thinking in my head. I was thinking of Derek and I'm like, well, if okay. Keon, I mean, when you if, say it that way, I mean, that's not, that's if not Keon, if Keon could get as hard as Derek. So yeah, maybe the, like, conditioning, the conditioning is the yeah. biggest discrepancy, you know, I think Sean is yeah. pretty Listen. overpowering from the back for him, but I think yeah. he's, I mean, if, with the argument with with uh, Derek, it definitely makes sense. Yeah. I wonder how much Andrew can improve between now and the Olympia. Like, he's he's impressed me with the improvements he's made in these short spans of time. So that's far. what I'm saying. Like he's kind of like Samson that way, where he does yeah. improve quite a bit in a short period of time. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, I wonder if we're going to see a even an, an even more impressive version of Andrew at Olympia time versus what we saw between Arnold and. Uh, Texas. I know there's still there was a few months there, so it's different. I think he'll be but... a little better. I don't think in in three months you're going to be like drastically yeah. different. Drastically, yeah, I think. Yeah, yeah. I don't think in terms of tangible muscle, you can be dramatically different. I think he could, you know, improve his peak a little bit and maybe have a little more because you're already in condition. You might not have had to push down, so a little more fullness and kind of pop and life to your physique if you've been eating up into the show a little bit um, instead of pushing down into a show. 
Um, but I, I don't like, I don't think anybody like, especially with that much muscle is going to gain six pounds of muscle in three months. You know what I mean? Yeah. Mm. Okay. Last question. Paul, where's Sri Lanka? Yep. <laughs> that's Sri Lanka's cool. in Asia. Oh, that's not, that's too far, buddy. Okay. Next that's India. Little... <laughs> Still a little vague. <laughs> that's a little vague. I pinpointed it right there for the left. I the left. It is to the left. If you're looking <laughs> at the globe, okay. it's like a little sliver of land next to India. Is it? Well, I don't know if I was how small it is, but it's next to India. Okay. You got to be a little bit more specific. I'm sorry. Okay. So it'd Never be on the uh, west side of India. On the west side. No. Yeah, don't say anything, Ian. This that question is for Paul. That doesn't make sense. Don't say North, anything. Northwest. No. Stop talking. Southeast. <laughs> Let's try Southeast. <laughs> southeast, is it? Yeah. Well, it's, definitely to, it's definitely going to be to the east because Asia. So can, can we just please? I need to. This is Paul's geography, <laughs> guys. Enough. This question was. This question God was literally it, for Paul. It's literally for Paul. This this guy asked for Paul. Oh, well, this guy's asking Paul. I thought. Yeah. This was okay. Be... Okay. So where is Sri Lanka? It's next to Asia. Next to India. Where? On the southeast side of it. Is it connected? It touches it. No, it doesn't. They butt up to each other. No, they don't. It butts up to Indonesia. <laughs> no, it doesn't. No, Indonesia's more. It, uh, Backs right up into it. <laughs> it doesn't really. It's working on it. India. It's working it, right on it. Is it land? Is, okay, wait, wait. Is it landlocked? Is it landlocked? Um, mean it doesn't like it doesn't border any water. Yes. No, it borders water. They had that big tsunami there. Okay. Is it an island or not? Maybe. It might be an island. Question. Maybe. I don't... <laughs> How's he answering the question? Is it uh, is it an island or not? It, yeah. Okay. Well, now that you have a, now that <laughs> well, everybody, I, 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 I kind of a mic sit there. <laughs> what's the, I don't even know. I don't even know. I didn't know. I thought it was. What's the capital? Anyway. Oh, I used to know this. Um, no, you didn't. Jakarta. No, you didn't. No, you Jakarta. Didn't. no, it's not. <laughs> what's Jakarta? Is it? There? Not... No, it's not. <laughs> Jakarta is what Indonesia then? I don't know what Jakarta is, but it's not Sri the Lanka. city. It's the capital of a country in Asia. It is, but I don't. Think <laughs> I know that, but it's not the capital of Sri Lanka. Uh, Sri Lanka, I is it Rajapuri or something like that? I don't know. Is that your guess? No. <laughs> um, Jakarta is in Indonesia. Oh, is it okay? That's the capital of Indonesia. That's what you said. I don't know. I don't know if it's the capital, but it... oh man, I know the capital of Sri Lanka. Fuck. I can't think right now of who it. I'm going to say Rajapura. No, it is Cologne. No. Sri Jawar, Jawardanapura Kote. What? I wouldn't have got that. <laughs> I know. <laughs> <laughs> they have these obscure countries. Give me a like a it's top not my 10 fault. country. It's the, the like guy asked. It's what, the, it's what the guy asked. You want a G10 country? Yeah. All right. Uh... Where is France on the map? Where is France? Yes. It's um so he repeats the question, he knows it's not going well. <laughs> where is France? Nobody well, answered. Where is France? Nobody answered. Where is so France? where is France? <laughs> it's next to Spain and uh what other countries near it? Is it landlocked? Yes. Is it landlocked? Yes. No. No, the Mediterranean Sea is right below it. Well, and the Atlantic Ocean. The Atlantic Ocean on the other side, yep. <laughs> so, so it's next to Spain? Is that, is that all I'm getting from you? What's the country on the other side? Uh, Well, which side Spain on? on the, uh, Spain will be on the uh, east side of it. Portugal. <laughs> no, it's not Portugal. Um, <laughs> Germany. It's next to Germany. No. Knock. Damn it. Oh, wait. Well, you know, kind of. It'll be yeah. well, in Europe, they're all next to each other, aren't they? Yes, they're all next to each other. Here. Pretty much. Um, Here, Paulie, here's a lesson for you. Okay, let's see it. Let's see a map of Europe. France, there's the Atlantic Ocean. Oh, fuck. Mediterranean Switzerland. Sea, oh, Spain. fuck. <laughs> Italy, motherfucker. You're from Italy. Oh, God. Yeah, man. I should have known that. You're next to Germany. He's huh. right. And you're yeah. French. And you're French. Well, not really French. Well, half French. <laughs> not half, no. All right, Paul, you got to get up tomorrow for your judging. So lead us off. Yeah, I, I got to be up lead early. Us, lead us off with a prayer. 
Okay, men, let's uh, let's hang our heads here. Let's bow our heads. I should say not hang our heads in shame. Isn't it bow our heads? Yeah, not hang our heads in shame. Um, what should we pray to tonight? I know it's your, um, prayer. It's your prayer. Hit us. Well, dear leader, we um we're grateful for uh, all the good times that we've had, especially in the last week. Um, grateful for everything that we've gotten, and uh, grateful none of us have been entered still all this time. <laughs> Let's keep that up, guys. Okay. <laughs> keep our unentered streak alive. Yeah, but we'll we'll keep entering though. <laughs> Bye guys. See you guys.